and Stardew. Should we play Stardew music? Not, not the game, the music. <laughs> Should we play Stardew music? Yeah, that's fine. Anyway, hi everyone. Welcome back. I have to switch laundry, don't stream. Oh, okay, Shan, I'll just wait. I'm, I'm waiting for Shan to finish her laundry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Let me get my game open. We have two slimes to open today, by the way. Big moment. <laughs> okay, anyway, it should be fun. It should be fun. Wait. Three slimes on my desk. First, second, third. Did we not open one on the Among- Am I missing? How did- Did I miss one of the slimes? Moose. But, hang on. No, we definitely opened it on the Among Us day because did we miss? One, two, three, four. Oh, one of the slimes isn't on my desk. I know why. No, no, no. There it is. My cat must have moved it. Okay, false alarm. Sorry. I was like, I know I didn't miss a slime. I didn't. It just wasn't with the others. My, but it's, it's an egg, so it rolls. Okay. Anyway, false alarm. <laughs> I thought we missed a slime. We're fine. Everything's fine. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. <laughs> Maria, Jizzy, Callie, Kelly, Shadow, Savannah, Dalton, Persephone, Dragon, uh, Little Deco with the 17 months. Thank you so much, everybody. Also, um, one other small update before we begin. I'm posting a vlog this week. Uh, what day am I gonna post it? It's done. I'm posting a vlog on, oh, on Saturday. It's 29 minutes long. <laughs> the vlog from when Dan and I went to, to see Batu in real life is 29 minutes long. Anyway, I love a good long vlog, so. Um, I was pretty excited about that. <laughs> I thought you would like that news. <laughs> Beth, thank you, uh, Maria and Penelope and Drinking Mind with Dragons, uh, and Nino and Maria and Alex and Beth, thank you all for the subs, everyone. Um, okay, so we have to open up, um, this is fun because we have to open up two because I didn't open up yesterday. So we have day five and six to open. Oh, day five is a square. I know you can't tell, but this is the first square on the calendar. Okay. Well, shall I begin with day five? This is yesterday's. I kind of want to. I might start with it. I'm just going to open it. I'm just gonna open it. Come on. Oh my god. This thing is so stupid. Oh, I got it. What? Oil slime. It's like toxic waste is what it's supposed to look like, I think. Oh no. I don't, I don't know about this one, guys. <laughs> I don't know about this. Ah, what the? What the? Oh my god, oh my god, this is really weird. This is really weird. This is really weird. I don't like it when it touches my hand! <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> oh no! I don't like how it goes back in there either. Look at it! Oh, you can't see, I covered it. Oh no, no! Oh god! I dropped it. Ew! <laughs> Ew! Dan! Quick! 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 <laughs> oh no! It's so creepy! This kind of rots? Ew! What? 
here, yes. come here, come here. Open your hand, open your hand, open your hand. <laughs> Why is it wet? I don't know, it's so weird. Look at that. Ew. Stop making that noise in their ears. It's slime ASMR. Shanna said, can you bring it over tomorrow? <laughs> Shanna loves slime. You want it? Wait. Oh! <laughs> I got it. How do you get it in? It goes back in, it just goes back Why is it got, I got slime all over my <laughs> Okay, well now I have to wash so my It's so weird! It's all your fault! It's so weird! Ah. Okay. I'm not gonna wash my hands yet, because I still have another slime to open. You have another one? Wait, can I see? Because that was yesterday's, yeah, okay. I wanna see! I, got, I literally got your stream open on my stream. Where's so day six? Anything. Uh, I was told by your chat. Well, I wasn't told by your chat. I saw that apparently you missed a day. No, I didn't miss a day. I opened the wrong How you Look, I opened that one as day two, but that one's day two. <laughs> that's, that's, you opened that? I opened that one as day two, but Wait, day two is actually day is that? ten. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna open day two for day ten? Yeah. Okay. What are these? My other ones. Do you open them? Look at the moose goose. Moose goose. Moose, moose ooze. Ooze moose! Can you open it? <laughs> Do you, can you open it? Yeah. Did you open it? Yeah. How? I'm crying behind How say, do you open it? Who's moose? I can't, I call them moose goose. This is weird. I know, it's really weird. <laughs> moose goose. That one smells that one smells like a dentist. Oh that's not good. Cotton sand? I can't get it. <laughs> Dan! You got it. I can't get it. Why not do, do, do that again? I'll hit the back. No, it doesn't. It's. They're in there really tight. Ow! You have to get it out. I can't. I can't. I can't. See? <laughs> Why is that? This is not for children. Children can't use this advent calendar. Oh, it's Ew. so. It's oh, so, that's why it's huge. It's huge. Wait, let me close. No, 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 I, no, no, I don't, no. don't want to. Go away. No, I want to see it. Cotton sand. Oh, is this just like the kind the? It's like the. Is it like the kinetic sand yeah, stuff? Yeah, it's like kinetic sand. Why didn't you get me a slime calendar? Well, I didn't know you wanted one. You could have bought one too. I didn't get a calendar. <laughs> I don't think this works right. It's like Play-Doh looking. Uh, well, I don't know if this works right. Oh, I still got slime on me. What are you supposed to do? Oh, do you haven't you changed you haven't changed camera yet? No. What is it supposed to do? I don't know. I think it's just oh, it's stretchy. <laughs> ah! Why is it stretchy? Oh, it's like cheese. Look. Yeah! It's, like it's like cheese. It's like the cheese stretch. This is not kinetic sand. This is like it's dry slime. Yeah, it's like dry slime. It's cloud slime, it's like, apparently. Oh, this is like this is like gum. Look. Ooh. Okay, I'm done now. Bye. I'm okay. going back to my own stream. Sorry for okay. the stream. I neglected you. I'm sorry. We can't. We can't just brush over this. This one. This is so messed up. You don't understand. It's like liquid. Look, it pour it. <laughs> Ah! Okay, okay, I can't. I can't. This thing is horrible. This is horrible. Oh, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna try and thank some subs real quick. <laughs> See, Fred, Kimberly, Frog, K, Jens with a tier 2 29 months, Mel's Blueberry, um, Annie, and, and Typical Redhead, and Geo, and, and Lily, and Mimi, and Fat Booty Dino, and Nightmare, and <laughs> Miria, and Hufflepuff, and Agent. Um, and Daz and Jess and, and Giraffe and, and, and Fruity and Premier and Clark and Sneaky and Morgan and, and Nimbo and Hannah with the 32 months! Heath Bar, Bribesy, Syrah, Dandelion, Leah, uh, B and Sarah and, and Dan and Simpsonsons and Tags and Ash and Jake and Sarah and Anna and Kyla and Gemily and Luna and- Oh no! Thank you all for the subs, I'm sorry if I missed anything. This is disgusting. Like, really and truly. 
That slime turns black after a couple years and it begins to smell. Well, it's already black. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, okay. I'm gonna wash my hands. Stick my finger in it? Don't make me do that. Okay, I will. Ooh! Ooh! It's so... Wet. I want you to hear the plop noise when it goes back in. Ooh! That one was weird. Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands really fast. <laughs> it farted, the slime farted. Okay, I'll be right back. Ew. <laughs> Okay, we're back. I am not touching that stuff again. I'm also wearing green shorts. Please don't laugh at me. Anyway. Oh, come on. We're gonna play The Sims. <laughs> Go Sunions, thank you for the gifted subs, by the way. And Fulci and, and Cindy and Becca and Sierra and Flamingo and Claudia and Gio and Jules and Lucy and Allie and Eleni and, and Muffins and, and Porta and Rochelle and Lit Raven and Cage and Carola and Miss Behaven and Ari and Zebra and Kimberly and Frog. Oh god, thank you all so much. If I miss anything, I'm so sorry. Well, we're gonna play with the Potts family. Um, <sighs> um, I'm gonna need to catch you up to speed because the situation is not good. It's not good. What we're dealing with right now is real bad. It's real bad. Um, so, here's here's what's happening. I, um, okay, so my ghost parents live with me still. That's fine. One of them died at old age. The other one I killed. That was a long time ago, though. It's fine. The current problem. I just had twin babies, okay? They're, they're children now. Um, they live here. It's great fun. Everything's great. Whatever. Their dad, dead. You know why? I killed him. You know why? He slapped my sim after I cheated on him. So he had to die. Well, we were thinking, well, wouldn't it be fun to have another baby? Who should we try for baby with? I don't know. Let's woohoo with Caleb the vampire. Just for funsies. It'll be cute. Let's see what happens. I woohoo with Caleb the vampire. I get pregnant. She's having more twins. So, single mom. About to be four babies. Things are not going good here, okay? Things are not going good. We're about to have two vampire babies in this household. <laughs> um, so, you know, I made a mistake. Um, but that is the situation at hand. That is what we're dealing with right now. Um, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. So, I'm just thinking like, you know, maybe, I don't know. We also, we have to get caught cheating four more times and have three more exes. And also break up ten couples. This aspiration is not easy. It's not. <laughs> she has a sibling, yeah, but her sister moved out. Believe it or not, she also has a twin sister. Twins really run in this family. Like, twins. Twins. About to be two more twins. This woman. A twin. With this guy. And we. This is a generational problem. This twin thing. So, no, that's not a custom thing. Drev, this came in the update. This aspiration came in the update last week, so it's been around for like a week. 
Allie, thank you for the 12 months, honey, and, and scoliosis, and champagne, and Honoria, and Sarah, and Caitlin, and Indigo, and Emily, and Jensen, and Aaron, and oh my god, failed beta. Allie, thank you, thank you. Catherine, Bob Pancake's mistress, Awkward Giraffe. Um, Allie, they, oh gosh, thank you all so much. Uh, so unfortunately, the problem is that we have the onlay line lot trait, and I forgot. So I tried to take it off last stream, and then chat was like, "No, you can't. You have to have twin vampires. It's too late now." So, because if I get rid of this, it'll get rid of one of the babies. Um. But I did try to stop it. I did try. Twitch chat, however, they tried to stop me. <laughs> they tried to stop me. <laughs> so, that is the situation at hand. Uh, but welcome back. It's not going good. It's not going good. All right, I'm trying to get rid of some sims here. You need to, you need to back away. No more of this. Oh my goodness, other life update. So my cousin is getting married this week. It's all very exciting. Um, for the record, I won't be here um, after tomorrow. I know, I, it's, I don't like being away from stream either, but another one of my cousins is getting married this week. I went to one of my cousin's weddings like two months ago, and now another cousin is getting married. But no more of my cousins are engaged after this, okay? So, <laughs> these weddings were supposed to be last year in 2020 as well, but then they got pushed because of COVID, so. I'm going to my cousin's wedding, though, this week. Um, her wedding is on Thursday, so I'll be gone for, like, a lot of the week, unfortunately, because um, of the wedding, which I'm very excited about. It's fun to see my family. It's been a long time, um, but just, just so you know, I won't be streaming much this week. I did post the schedule in the Discord, um, and I'm going to stream extra next week to make up for it, so I promise I, I, will, um, I will make it up to you. <laughs> But I will be at my cousin's wedding. Um, but the the fun update that's well, it starts out being not so fun. So I bought a dress two weeks ago that was supposed to come a week ago last Tuesday. Okay, keep in mind it was supposed to come on Tuesday in the mail. It still has not come. It's now going to be delivered on Wednesday. Well, that's too late. I'm going to be gone going to my cousin's wedding on Wednesday. So Wednesday is not going to work. <laughs> it's not going to cut it. Because um, we're leaving at like 9 a.m. So there's a possibility it'll show up. I doubt it. I'm going to return it at this point. Whatever. So today I was like, oh God, panic. My cousin has a black tie wedding on Thursday. <laughs> oh, what do I do? So me and my sister earlier before I went live, um, we went to this vintage store in Orlando to like panic, see if we could find something. Um, and I found this beautiful dress for $20. So I'm feeling pretty good. <laughs> I feel like I solved this problem. I am, I'm doing great. Score, honestly. <laughs> um, but I, I just, it was like a, a real crisis averted kind of thing, you know? Um, and the dress is prettier than the one that I bought before. So <laughs> it works out. Um, but anyway, I was really excited about it. So, um, but I can show you. Wait, let me go get it. Hang on. My sim, oh no, please don't be in labor. Okay, she's not. It was a fair concern, okay? I thought, I got nervous it was time, but it's not. We're fine. Hang on. I'm back. This is my dress. Here we have it. Oh, you can barely see it. Anyway, it's very cute. Um, they they called it there that it was it was from the 60s. I don't know if that's true, but they said it's Audrey Hepburn inspired. I don't know. It's really pretty though, and it, I don't know. I just I'm very excited. So <laughs> I don't want to like put it on the floor in here. Where should I? I'm gonna put it back. Hang on. Hang on, my cat cam's in here still. Okay, um, it looks pretty, I'm excited, it fits well. It just feels like it worked out. It was good, score. 
Yeah, keep that away from the slime. <laughs> you know, keep that one away from the slime. <laughs> Um, Sailor, I bought it from a vintage store in Orlando, so I don't know, I don't think that it, um, is possible to be repurchased. Um, because I got it from, like, a thrift store here. <laughs> so, I don't know where it's from, I don't know when it was made originally, I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah, the last thing we want is, like, this stuff on that dress. <laughs> um. Well, black tie is not a theme, it's like a dress code, Stony Elephant. Black tie is like fancy fancy. Um, like the idea for black tie is like long dresses, fancy dresses. Um, I don't know. It's just a dress code. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I don't know where the dress is originally from, but I <laughs> thrifted it today. So, but yeah, like, um, gowns and tuxes, basically. Um, kind of like prom, I guess that's a good way of putting it, yeah. Um, it's very formal. <laughs> like, you wouldn't wear a short dress to a wedding like that. So, I mean, you could probably get away with, like, a T-length or something like that dress, but it has to be, like, really fancy to get away with it. Um, anyway. Um, should be fun. So, yeah, it's just formal. You don't need to wear, like, black clothes. It just has to be formal. Although I think a lot of people wear, like, darker colors to black tie events. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Anyway. Um. But. <laughs> well, that's the thing. A wedding in December does seem stressful to me. I think it would be a lot to plan. The other thing is that, like, my, um, my siblings aren't going because they have, like, exam week. <laughs> um, they're, they're a bit preoccupied. <laughs> So, um, depends on the season. I mean, that's true. I don't know. I don't know. But it's on a Thursday. So, like, <laughs> um, but anyway, it'll be fun. Um, and I'm excited to see my family again. So, Dan's over here getting really thrown into the thick of it. Like, <laughs> two of my cousins have gotten married. Well, actually, three of my cousins have gotten married this year, but we didn't go to one of their weddings because, um, they got married, like, the week that I was helping Dan move to the U.S., and that's just, listen, besties, it wasn't gonna happen. <laughs> There's no way we could manage both of those things. <laughs> but now Dan's been to two of my cousins' weddings. I guess this one counts as one of them. Um, which is, welcome in. Meet everyone. <laughs> so, anyway, um, okay, I think you, thank God, don't have work today. You know what you do have to do? Program, because we need money, because we have all these babies coming. Um, how about you mod Sims Forever? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Taylor, Moonbabe, Izzy, Tiffany, Wiggle, and Mandolin, and Julian, and Lynx, and Folk Love, and Mad, and Daz, and Child and Ghost. Thank you, uh, Lizzie, and Angeline, and, oh no, Ghost again with the gifted subs. Uh, Vel, and, and Pink Moon Dust, and Wolfcat, and Addie, and Caroline. I hope I didn't miss anything. I didn't, I'm not trying to. Bunny, Alyssa, thank you so much, everyone. Um, no, I don't have any cousins on my mom's side, so it's, it's all on my dad's side. Um, the ones who are getting married. I don't have, my mom's brother's never had any kids, so there's, it's just us. Just me, Brett, and Shanna. <laughs> um, okay, anyway, time to program. Thank you very much. You people, I think I might move my ghosties out. Well, I might let them wait until the babies are born. You can stay. You can cook me some more breakfast. Um, and I don't have, like, that many cousins on my dad's side. I have nine, which is a lot, I guess, but some people have, like, 20, you know? <laughs> so, roast tofu chicken. Sure. Um, but, anyway, I only have the nine cousins. <laughs> uh, watery, uh, AMA and Coco and Dopamine and Alyssa, thank you all for the subs again. Have 33, yeah, see, 20 on each side, yeah. Um, some people have, like, loads of cousins, especially if you have, like, both of your parents have loads of siblings, like, just a lot of them. <laughs> there were 30 people at your house this Thanksgiving? Oh my goodness, and I thought, so, usually, I mean, we don't usually do Thanksgiving at my grandma's house, um, we always used to go to my grandma's house for Christmas instead, but, um, like, my, it usually, genuinely, um, was just my mom, my dad, me and my siblings, my grandparents, and her two brothers, um, 
like they no one else came not even like their wives it just, it just was very small um but one of my uncles has a new girlfriend um and dan was there obviously this year too so like having dan and sandy there was like <laughs> oh it's a big event now <laughs> We gotta put the leaf at the table this time, you know? Um, but usually we don't have like a lot of people at those family events because there's not a lot of us. Um, wow, so many people. <laughs> but like that, this Thanksgiving was like big. Cause so, <laughs> Dan and Sandy are coming. Um, <laughs> but some people have like so many more cousins than I do, so. Um, Oh, there's a tub in the front yard because the tub keeps breaking and the dog won't, it just like half the time the dog won't be bathed in it. So I put uh, a tub in the front yard so that the dog would actually be bathed. I thought they fixed this glitch, but evidently they did not because it's still happening to me. So, um, <laughs> do you want to program some more? Do you want to mod the Sims forever again? Um, and I don't know any of my second cousins. I think a lot of people have their second cousins coming to events. Although, my, my, at my dad's parents' house, um, my, so, we always had Christmas Day. This is kind of a far-fetched. So, it was my grandma's cousin's kid, who my dad was very close with growing up, and their kids that would come to Christmas. <laughs> So I don't, we're not like that closely related because it's like descended from my grandmother's cousin, but like they used to come to Christmas, but that's like the most distant family I used to spend time with. Um, but no, it's not that weird, but I like my grandma's cousin's kids' kids feels like a, <laughs> my grandma's cousin's grandkids. Um, anyway. <laughs> Um, oh, oh, someone said you found these eggnog ice cream sandwiches. I, so we were talking on stream about oat nog <laughs> the other day, and I saw some at the grocery store today, so me and Dan bought some oat nog. Um, so I haven't tried it yet, but, um, I'm gonna try some oat nog today. It's like eggnog, but it's, it, um, vegan. <laughs> they had almond milk ones too, but we got the oat nog, because it was cheaper. <laughs> um, but, I don't know, I'll try, I'll let you know, I'll try it tonight, and I'll let you know tomorrow, my thoughts on the oat nog. So, I think oat nog is, is quite a funny word, so. <laughs> okay, I might have the kids, it's a Saturday, I hate to say this, children, but, do you want to, um, do some school projects? <laughs> I think it would be good for you if you got your skills up a little bit, you know? Um, come here. Solar system. Let's try this again. Okay, come here kiddos. You do this one. You do this one. Come on. <laughs> Fine Simmer, Dawn, thank you, Julia, and Naya, and Magic Turtle, and Honeybree, and Victoria, and Avocado, and Mary, and Newcrest, and Ava, and Hannah, and Zoe. Oh my god, did I miss anything else? I'm so sorry. Grabigail, Sleepy, Watery, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um. <laughs> oh boy. Is that Nog made out of oat? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I know he looks like Alexander Goth. We dressed him, so we we realized when he aged up that he looked a lot like Alexander Goth, so I dressed him just like him on purpose. So I, I know he looks like Alex. <laughs> I did that intentionally. I made him have Alexander Goth's outfits. Um, yeah. He just, he, they look very similar. So. There you go. <laughs> yeah, his name is PB. We thought it would be funny because, because, um, so her, the dad is dead, so I can't show you their, um, their old sentiment, but the parents had this, like, I love jam sentiment, and so we were like, 
Okay, that's kind of weird. Where did that come from? So we named their first kid Jam, because we thought that'd be kind of cute. And then we ended up having twins. So we were like, oh, like peanut butter and jelly. Haha, -ha, like PB is kind of like PJ. I don't know. So we named him PB. It's a name. It's from cooking together. They definitely never cooked together. I mean, she only dated that guy for like a couple days. And then, so, I don't know how they got the, the sentiment, but it may have been a glitch, is all I'm gonna say. <laughs> um, but I also never gifted any jam, that's the thing. It, it, it might be from gift giving, it might be supposed to be from gifting jam, but I, I gifted any thing. Um... And I got the sentiment. Somehow. <laughs> Just a normal gift caused it. Okay. Well, do you want to come help the grandkids? Oh, this will be great. Look. Assist with, with project. You did a mean gift and got that sentiment? That's kind of funny. Okay, well that's good to know, I guess. How close are you to getting your programming skill up again? Not very. Okay, maybe we should, um, make a virus. <laughs> you recently were gifted a tomato jam. Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, so, Rogue, the toilet fires are not actually a bug. Um, the toilet fires are because my toilet is upgraded with the, um, the, like, something about compost, and so the reason my, my toilet keeps catching on fire in my, if you're talking about the one of my videos, it's because, um, it has that upgrade, because I had my sim, my, like, first or second gen sim max the handiness skill, and when you do that, um, you can, like, upgrade everything fully, um, and so she did that, and, and then it included the stupid compost thing, um, so the toilet catches on fire when it hasn't used enough compost. It just spontaneously combusts. You're supposed to like empty it. I don't, because it's funny when it catches on fire. So. We didn't have any today in the video though, so that's fun. Oh, here's a photo of my dog standing in its pee. Oh, they meant getting one of the bug boxes from Eco Lifestyle will stop it. Oh, they didn't call it a bug. Oh, <laughs> no, I wanted to catch fire. I don't want to stop it. I like it. <laughs> I enjoy it when my toilet catches on fire, so I'd like to keep it on. Oh, no, my, um, no, my alert boxes should still be on. Never mind. My alert boxes are on. Don't worry. Um, Rebecca, Ava, Audrey, AJ, Sarah, Pearl, Katie, Zoe, um, thank you for the subs. I turned off my alert box, um, oh, maybe it, oh, it was off. Oh, no, it was off, that's because I turned it off during our, um, during the Tiltify stream. I didn't want people to, um, I didn't want to, like, crowd the screen with my alerts when we were, like, donating to other charity streamers. <laughs> um, and I didn't turn it back on today, my bad. It's all good, we fixed it. My hand kind of smells like the slime. Not in a bad way. It's more of like a... Like a bad soap. It's like an unpleasant hand soap. Is how my hand smells. Um, so that sucks. Does that make sense, what I'm saying? <laughs> Why does it say open world? Bestie, that is not my tag. That is just how it works. When you set up tags on Twitch, the default tag, I will show you. One of the default tags that it adds, I literally cannot remove it, is open world. That's, that is the Sims 4, comes with open world tag. Simulation, open world, RPG, adventure game. That's just what it means. Um, this world is not quite, oh god. It's not quite as open as the older Sims games, but it's not a not open world. Maybe that's why they did that. I don't know, but it's, I didn't call it that. That's just how it, that's just, 
the game's official tags. Any sim stream you watch will have that tag. So. <laughs> uh, Undead, Rebecca, Ava, thank you all for the subs too. Um, but anyway, it's a weird one. It's a slightly open world. Yeah, this area is open. <laughs> so, it's open neighborhood. I don't know if The Sims 4 claims that, Siren. That might be a Twitch person said that. Or I don't know how the I don't know how the games get classed. I don't think this is a reason to be angry at The Sims, is what I'm saying. There's a lot of reasons to complain about The Sims. I don't think this is one of them. I don't think it's that big of a deal. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, okay, I'm gonna have her cook some more food. Do you wanna? I just want to get some extra things in the fridge so when she goes away we'll have some extra stuff. Um. Okay. You can like fitness, that's fine. Oh, look at you, you're playing with a science thing! Oh, and you're setting the table? Oh, well that's nice! Okay! Keep it up! Well, I'm level 5 in the programming skill now. That's nice. Keep it up! <laughs> Gridroy, Devlin, Butterfly, Undead, Rebecca, Ava, thank you for the subs again, everyone. Um, oh, we don't know who the heir is gonna be. Elizabeth, my sim's pregnant again. I mean, it, we don't really pick the heir until the sims are teens, you know? Um, because it's, it's hard to decide that kind of thing when, um, you've never seen what their traits are gonna be, so... We won't pick that yet. Oh, Siren, it's fine. Don't worry. <laughs> the thing is, I didn't even remember what you said. So don't worry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, no, I don't think we've picked names for the new twins yet, have we? I don't remember. Okay, maybe I should have her just go to sleep again because she's so tired. Oh, wait, no. Do you want to come repair this? Sorry. You know, I can sing you a birthday song, my friend. Happy birthday. <laughs> when did my sim get pregnant? At the end of last stream. Um, unfortunately... It's, um, it's, it's vampire twins. It's vampire twins. It's not a good situation. It's, it's really not a good situation that we're in right now. Um, so. <laughs> Do you know what, Christine? You are like the third person I've heard say that directly to me. Um, there was a di I haven't seen the Discord update. Let me see if I can reopen Discord if it'll download the update. Oh, it didn't. There was a Discord update that some of my friends have on desktop that, like, changed the Discord notification sound to be, like, Christmas-themed. Um, I haven't- I haven't seen it, so I couldn't tell you, but I've heard multiple people say they hate the sound. So. Um. But yeah, I don't have sounds on anyway, so- I don't think I would notice. I mean, I always am on Do Not Disturb on Discord, so. Um. Trapunzel, Emma, Fangirl, thank you, Michelle, with all the subs and stuff, everybody. Thank you so much. Okay, you need to take a shower and pee. Maybe you could come down here. Use the bathroom, take a shower. I don't know. Who's the vampire dad? You didn't miss much my love. It all happened very fast. It's Caleb. Um, it was a, a heated moment in a bush at the gym, and now I'm having vampire twins. It's, I mean, there's not any backstory to this. It was, it was a, a terrible heat of the moment decision. <laughs> you didn't miss much. 
It was real bad. It was a big mistake. I don't, um, I'm not glad it happened. Yeah, I did kill his sister a while back. I killed Lilith months ago in real life. So, um, and now I'm having his baby. This is babies, plural. <laughs> oh. Yeah, get some leftovers. Come here. Just grab a snack. Wait, what's your sentiment? Oh, it's with grandma. Friendly advice. That's cute. This is the most grandma time we've had in like ages. It's kind of fun. Yeah, if Caleb ends up dead, then I'm gonna have killed all the original vampires. I think I might do that. Because I already- look, I've got Vlad and I have Lilith, so I may as well get Caleb too. And that one's an alien. So. Anyway, oh look, the kids are mopping. That is really nice of you. Did they die in the sun? I tried to drown them. It didn't work. So to answer your question, yes, they did ultimately die in the sun. Um, oh wait, we were gonna have them get married today. Oh, we'll do it tomorrow. Uh, that's right, I was gonna have, um, Patrick and, and Holly get married today, but they can get married tomorrow. Um, it'll be fun. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Rage cleaning. Right. Look, I've, I've been there. I've, I've done that. I respect it, I do. I have no room to judge. Do you really think I should name the baby Renezme? Okay. <laughs> Do we name the other one like Edward or something? I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, I'll do that. I'll I'll do that. That is terrible. Virginia, Frona, Ruby, thank you for the subs, everybody. <laughs> um, anyway, we'll figure it out as soon as they're born. We'll have more of a, an idea. Edward Jacob was the boy's name. What? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This is real bad. This is real bad. Okay. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. I can't name it EJ. I already have PB. Oh, we have to decide fast. I think I want to name it Edward. This is too much pressure. I feel like, look, I'm just thinking about how are we gonna dis ex explain to people these two letter names that we've given to two of the baby. We, we have to give it a, a longer name just so we can like, you know? We need it to be- we need it to be more clear. The difference between the babies. Oh, who made a poll? I don't want to answer to the- I don't want to do what they say. <laughs> if we hadn't done a real poll, then I could've- <laughs> Then I could've just been-
been like, hmm, it sounds like most people want this, and there'd be no evidence. <laughs> oh, Jesse, Virginia, thank you for the subs and bits. This is, I mean, Edward is winning. Nobody cares about Emmett, Carlisle, or Jasper. I mean, like, 7% is... That's pitiful. It really is. I like the name Charlie. It's not as funny. It's not as funny to call it Charlie. I feel like that's actually a good name. Not that Edward's a bad name, but it's... Edward is more, like, obvious what we're going for. Jedward? Jedward. Jedward? Fine. Jedward. <laughs> Jedward. And Renesme. Jedward and Renesme. I don't wanna. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jedward's got some vampire signals going off. This is not good. This is not good. I'm. Can I put him on the porch? I'm serious. I don't know. Wh I don't know where to put them. I don't know where to put the babies. I need to get my grandparents to move out. But for now. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. This might be a vampire problem. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. What? What is wrong with putting them next to the graves? They're vampires! Look, their dad's. Look, 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 look. This is their aunt right here. This is family bonding, okay? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with this. No, they won't die in the sun. They're not gonna become actual vampires until they're teens, if they are vampires, so we don't need to worry about that. Um, little did she know, Finchie, Chelsea, Purple, Audrey, Dr. Bobby, Brittany, Atomic Ducks, Sen, and Dr. J, and Jesse, and Virginia, and Frona, thank you all for the subs. Anyway, they're not gonna get hurt in the sun. They're not actually vampires yet. Nothing to worry about there. Seriously, like, actually nothing to worry about. It's fine. Um, they also don't need blood yet. They're- they, we don't even know if they're vampires. <laughs> we don't even know if they are or not. You nicknamed my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster! <laughs> okay, everyone, go to sleep. I'm so happy. Um, I don't know why they're in two different bassinets. I didn't pick the bassinets. Um, those are just the ones that they gave us. I think it's because this one is a vampire and that one's not. But there's- there's not really any way to know for sure until they're born. I mean, this one had some little vampire signals going off, so it, it might be that one's a vampire too. But we'll see. Um, I would- I would personally feel as though it is more likely that this one is a vampire. Um, what are you doing? Stop! Scared of a ghost cat. Wah, wah. Alright, today we're gonna have, um, my ghost grandparents get married. So. Until they grow up! Why are you all nitpicking what I said? Of course I misspoke and said born. I meant when they grow up. We, you can't, you don't know if they're vampires, they don't start being vampires for real until they're teens. Once we have them as toddlers, we should be able to see and cast, but they aren't actually gonna be vampires until they're teens. So none of this, oh, they can't be in the sun. It's fine. They're outside because I have no space. We really need to start, we really need to start caring less. You think the babies being outside are the worst part of this household? Look at this. Look at this. 
And you think this is bad? <laughs> it's the least of our concerns at the moment, okay? <laughs> All right, I need to have, um, you can come make the wedding cake. I think... Oh, I guess you can make a gourmet one. That'll be better. Make me a tiered cake and we'll bring it. My ghost parents are getting married. They got unmarried. Well, they were never married because he died too fast. But they got unengaged when they died because it, like, destroys their relationship status. So, um... Today we have to get them married again. <laughs> Because they were unmarried. Not divorced! They didn't break up. They simply, um, were no longer in a relationship, according to the game, so. <laughs> Alright, I'm having her make the cake and then we'll bring it with us. And then we should be okay to just go. Come on. Add a little wedding topper, shall we? Come on. Okay, well, let's just go then. I don't know where to. Let's plan a social event. I'll do it right now, I'm not worried about it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I have the cake, it's in my inventory, don't worry. Wedding. These will be the guests. That's her daughter, that's her brother. We don't need a caterer. Um, I might do it at like, my beach wedding venue that I built. This'll be good. Please get a dog named Jacob. Oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, maybe we should. Okay, once our dog dies, we'll get another one and we'll call it Jacob. Okay. I- Yeah, I'll do it. Okay, we're here! Everyone's all dressed up and ready. We all look a little bit silly, but that's okay. Oh. The cheese caramel is still there. It's actually quite upsetting. I must say, um, I'm really not happy about that. <laughs> That's been there for so long as well. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna put the cake over here. Come here. There we go. Okay, do you wanna just get married? Come on. I guess it's free, that is nice. Ghost wedding! This is real nice, see? Why are you guys so blurry? Can't make that my thumbnail. Uh-oh. Okay, I thought she was gonna mess with the tree, but she wasn't. It was, it was a fair concern. Okay, you have to look at them from a very specific angle for it to not be blurry. One of the ghosts is green because she's inspired, and he's- or well, he's green because he's happy, she's blue because he's inspired. I said it backwards. Ghosts glow the color of their emotion. So. Come on everyone, watch the wedding. Get married. Yay, weddings! Woo! Lifestyle at risk, okay. Sorry, what did that just say? Holly and Patrick are both having their very first kiss. These two have been together for like 40 years. <laughs> They've been waiting 
for marriage. Right, 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 right. They saved it until marriage. Right, of course. <laughs> In their 40-year marriage, they never kissed once. They might have children. You must wait for the newlyweds to take the first slice. You are the newlyweds. Let's put a new wedding cake topper on it and see if it works. Not birthday candles. It's nobody's birthday. Oh, fail. It might be a glitch. Oh, it's a glitch. Okay, well, I'll just say we took the first slice and I'll have everyone come eat some. Well, this is nice. They've had children, but they've never kissed. No, kissing is disgusting. Kissing? That's not right. We don't support that here. No, 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 no way. <laughs> okay, Pages, Sophie, Poppy, Raven, Nerdy, Julia, Wendy, thank you all for the subs too. I'm gonna save my game. I mean, there is a pandemic. So it's just responsible to never kiss anyone, even when you've been married to them for 40 years. <sighs> okay, I shouldn't, they weren't married. So here's what happened. They were actually never married. So the, um, okay, basically my Sam, she was dating this guy, Holly and Patrick, they were dating. Um, they got engaged, they gave birth to twins. And I decided that Patrick was a little bit boring and that I didn't want him around anymore. And I was really busy with trying to bring my brother back to life. My brother was also dead because um, he, he died in a battle to the death. It was a whole thing. So we were trying to bring him back to life with Ambrosia. It was a whole thing. Um, and so I was like, Patrick, sorry, I'm yawning. Just thinking about him is too tiring. Patrick was boring, so I thought, into the pond, you know, dead. Well, then he was dead, and I decided to add him back into my household as a ghost. So he's been around the whole time. But what I sort of forgot, and I, I did know that when someone dies, it gets rid of their relationship status. So they were engaged, but then he was dead. So they still had, like, the pink bar and everything. But they weren't, like, engaged. They lost the label. Well, I kind of forgot, and I meant to have him get re-engaged and stuff, and I just never did. Well, then, <laughs> cut to, like, my Sims kids, Poppy and her twin sister, are young adults. And then all of a sudden, it gives Holly the single and loving it lifestyle. And we were like, what? You've been living with a man for, like, 20 years. He might be dead, but you've been living with him this whole time. Um, well, we forgot to have them start dating again. So they were, like, together, but not officially. They they were just talking, you know? They were, like, a thing. <laughs> For 20 years. <laughs> um, and then eventually, recently, when Holly died of old age, I decided to have them get married officially as ghosts. Yeah, they were just, like, casually dating, you know? Um, didn't want to make it official. <laughs> um... The 20 year talking phase. Right, right, right. Um, anyway, did you pee your pants? I yawned again. Sorry. I gasped too loud and I yawned. Poppy! You peed at your mom's wedding? That's gross. And was it right there? You peed right in the middle of the walkway? Poppy! You can't just do that! You could have peed in the ocean! Did you ever think about that? Let's go swimming. Whole family. No one would have judged you, they would have never known. It was all right here, just a big giant toilet, and yet... You peed your pants at your mom's wedding. Well, oh, 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 oh my god, oh my god, I'm sorry. I forgot, I forgot that I drowned him. Hang on, hang on. 
Oh, on your wedding day, I made you go swimming in the ocean. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, no. The, he, he's dead because I drowned him in a pond. I, look. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is his wedding day, too. Why did I do that? I'm sorry. I really am. You know, maybe we'll go home. Here, let me just grab all this food because it's free. Well, I paid actually 250 simoleons for it, but... He was terrified. He hated that. Now I feel really guilty for making him swim. Well, I didn't, I kind of forgot. I just thought it would be fun, you know, if like the whole gang went swimming. What, can you not get in there? What's your problem? Are you glitched? You can use the toilet, can't you? Huh? No way that toilet isn't functional. Really? Come on. There you go. Oh, oops. Don't forget the cake. Oh, didn't they eat most of it? Oh, they ate half of it. We'll bring it home. Oh, you found a shell. Well, hey, look at that. That's cute. It's like Animal Crossing. <laughs> You're gonna get a mermaid recipe for that? Michael, I did not take the old shell off my gallery. Don't worry. Um, I, I never take anything off my gallery. If you can't find it, it's probably an issue with the gallery. Because the gallery, like, doesn't load old stuff very well. It really sucks. Um, the, all my shells are on the gallery still. Um, the gallery just has a hard time loading things sometimes. So it can be hard to, like, make them filter it correctly so that you can see it. But... Oh no, I keep yawning. The gallery does just kind of suck though. Like it's it's really just a gallery problem. Yeah, the house is in the gallery, Everly. I've posted like seven different versions of the pots houses on the gallery. Um, so there's loads. <laughs> Stormy, awkward, thank you for the subs. Okay, um, the gallery could use some like optimizing. <laughs> I just press switch control instead of bring Sim here. Uh, yeah, I've uploaded every Potts house to the gallery. All of them. <laughs> um, I upload, like, every build to the gallery. It's probably not your fault if you can't find them, though. Again, the gallery is so difficult to use. Like, they- they just- It's so annoying. Who are the babies? They're my babies. Unfortunately, they're also Caleb the Vampire's babies. So. I keep yawning. Now that I've said it, it keeps happening. This is bad. Oh, I don't have my water bottle in here. I've been live for an hour and I didn't notice that. I might have to run downstairs and grab it. Is that okay? Am I okay? I'm just tired. <laughs> I might run and grab my water bottle. I'll be back in like two seconds. Hang on. Hang on.
my water bottle. So I had to get a glass. This is not good. The chances of me spilling this glass is like very high. <laughs> I knock stuff over like all the time on stream. This is not looking good. So be very careful. That's not funny. Don't joke about it. I might have left it in the car. I've actually, it's probably likely they left it in the car by accident. Where's the baby? <sighs> okay. <laughs> okay, it's fine. It appeared again. It appeared again. That was... Welcome back, we missed you so much. Yes, I was gone for so long. I actually, I ran ads while I was gone so no one would get them while I'm here. I was gone for 90 whole seconds. How could I do this to you? <laughs> How could I disappear for so long? Ooh, you still have this? Maybe one of your kids could do it. Here. Oh my gosh, the other thing that I got, um, Ryan dropped off the real version of the calendar <laughs> while I was, uh, well, like an hour ago, actually. But this is the official version, which is quite fun. Because um, I have one, but the one that I have has like a few things different in the, in the inside, like in the text. There was like some like size changes we made. So like you wouldn't know, but I knew. But this is the real one. <laughs> this is the actual one, which is quite cool. So, anyway, I'm very excited. LilSimsyShop.com, by the way. Well, you wouldn't be able to tell. There's no way you would notice the differences we made. Like, when we got the first print, um, we put down, like, some notes on it, and we were like, hmm, scoot this. <laughs> like, you would never be able to tell the difference, probably, but, um... <laughs> Uh, that's just how it goes. Small, it's like how, um, look at this. These are the, I don't think you can tell very well, but these are the, the cat plushies. You see how the eyes are different colors? This was the prototype, and then the one we went with for real has like a slightly darker green in the eyes. It's not that noticeable, but <laughs> we decided to change the eyes to be a little bit darker when we actually released it, but this is like the original one, and this one is the real one. Anyway, lilsimsyshop.com! Yeah, Vigados, that's how they always are. They've always been that way. Not just on my channel, that's everywhere. Tier 3, I totally just... It fell all the way underneath the tree. <laughs> um, but anyway, Lindsay, Palmer, Joy, Maisie, Cutie, Dawn, Pterodactyl, Stormy! You look just like mommy, baby. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you for the three months. Also, Summer and Dania with the 50 months, Pages with the 39 months, Sophie with the nine months, Poppy with the 14 months. Oh my God, thank you all so much. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, you'll get the sweatshirt. Don't worry, you will get the sweatshirt by Christmas. Thanks, it, it absolutely will be shipping like very soon. Like you'll, you'll get the things, if you order them already, it will come by Christmas, at least it should. And if it doesn't, that would be like a, a nightmare or something went horribly wrong, like, but they should come by Christmas. I, I mean, you can order until I think Monday and it'll come by Christmas, like guaranteed. Um, so you'll be fine. But any orders until Monday, not th not today, but next week should come by Christmas. Um, so just so you know, BB's girl, Olivia Rose, thank you all for the subs too. Um, <laughs> Oh, do you want to help your sister? That could be nice. We could get some skills that way. It's kind of fun. It's like their ancestors are helping them <laughs> with the projects. Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> are you threatening them? Yeah, I am. Here, do you want to come? Do a playful painting. I don't know. Why are you so tired? I guess she did just give birth. Yikes. Yikes. Okay, who's the heir? Besties, we haven't picked the heir yet. They're only children. Um, we're gonna have to wait and see when they grow up. 
They have four kids and two of them are babies. Like, there's no way to decide who the ba who the heir is gonna be yet. I don't want the heir to be a vampire, though. Um, something that I am worried about is that, um, I, uh, I don't want- Because if we're gonna use the 10th gener- the 10th generation sim as the, like, not so berry founder when we play out so berry next, I don't want a vampire. Like, I don't want to play with vampires for, you know, I just, I, I don't want to mess with that. Like, I, you know, um, it's fun to have, like, a vampire sister, but I don't think I want the, the, all the rest of the babies to be descended from vampires. I also don't want to have to cure them. I just don't care to play with vampires. Like, I just, I don't, that's not something that I want to deal with. Um, I don't think vampires are that fun. Like, I just, I don't know. Um... That's just not a thing that I want to do. <laughs> it's funny to have them, like, in the family, but I don't want to get stuck with them. For a long time. You see? Um, no, 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 we're not in the ninth generation. The- the children are Gen 9. The mom is Gen 8. Um, so we're still a little ways away. Let me show you. Um, this is the family tree. So, these are Gen 9. Their babies will be Gen 10. So. We think one's a vampire and one isn't, but we're not sure. I'm pretty sure this one's a vampire and this one's not, because they spawned in these bassinets, but we won't know until they age up and we check. Um, okay. Cool. Do you want to sell that? Thanks. They might both be vampires, though, because the other one that's not in the vampire bassinet, he had, like, a bunch of little vampire buff things floating around him. But I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Corp, thank you for the tier three, three-month resub and the bits. Um, Watermelon, Clara, uh, Shiverson, Ellie, Unknown Piggy, Liv, and Olivia, and Roast, and Baby's Girl, and Vicky, and Lindsay, thank you all for the subs. Um... Yeah, and sometimes human babies spawn into vampire bassinets by a glitch, so. Um, it's possible they're both vampires. It could be the opposite. Um, historically, usually, the one in the vampire bassinet is the vampire. That's, like, how aliens work, too, but that might end up being different. Um, we'll just have to see what happens when they actually age up. Um, no point speculating. They're, like, about to age up anyway, so... They are about to age up, so it's fine. What's broken? The computer. I'll fix it in the morning. I saw it was broken yesterday, but I wanted to- I didn't want to deal with it. <laughs> I was busy. You feel like you're too, fun in the po too, too far behind in the possibility of what's going on? May, you really don't need to worry about that. Too much happens. Everyone's always behind. Even I'm behind and I'm playing it completely disregard any sims that are not in the household. Just because they don't exist. It's fine. This is all you need to know. Pile of graves. That's the situation. You don't need to have seen everything else. It's fine. <laughs> oh, please. Please. I hate babies. I hate them. Uh. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hurry up. What are you doing? Leave the dog alone. Oh. Can't deal with you. Can't deal with you. So annoying. Need you gone. Seriously. Okay, now go to sleep. They're outside because they don't have a bedroom. This is not the first time I've done this. As soon as my ghosts move out, they'll have their own room. It's fine. <laughs> I have my money. I bought computers with it, Sarah. I invested it back into the house. <laughs> this is horrible. 
No, I don't have any custom content, Sophia. I only have a couple script mods. I don't have- I don't use any build CC or anything. All this stuff is in the game. Um. Oh, I don't have anything special. It's their birthday. No, ghosts won't starve to death. They're already dead, so they can't die, as far as I'm aware. I mean, I would be really surprised if they died again. I, the ghosts can't die, though. They also don't age. So, um, they just stay this, this age. <laughs> Why does the gallery say you use custom content then? Isabella, I don't know what you're talking about, bestie. Um, sometimes my, my builds get marked as having CC. Uh, you'll find this on a lot of people's builds. Say I upload the house and I have like photos like this of my Sims pets or a painting my sim made, sometimes the game classes that as CC. I am telling you, my builds don't have any custom content in them, okay? <laughs> I don't use like a, a CC bed. Um, it's just gonna have stuff like this sometimes, and that might- th things like my family's houses might get marked as having CC, but it's because of weird things like photos or pictures or paintings or whatever that the game is classing wrong. It's really weird, but, um, the gallery is just weird. It's broken. <laughs> I think that's the real theme here. Um, notice a problem? The gallery is the problem. <laughs> Almost 100% of the time, if there is an issue, it's the gallery's fault. <laughs> um, that's the thing, the gallery is really glitchy. There's so many, like, wonderful parts of the gallery. Like, I, um, go away. Um, if you ever played the older Sims games, you will know how amazing it is to have, like, the gallery built in. Um, it really is awesome. But, we can also acknowledge that it's glitchy. <laughs> so, um, that's the situation. Uh, Nick, if you want to take photos and frame them, you can just, like, take photos with your Sims phone. Um, you know how you can have your Sim, like... Uh, take a selfie or, or whatever, take a photo, um, then you can just hang them up and then you can click add frame and then you can have a frame photo in your sims house. That's how. So. Okay. Change dirty diaper again. The basement has my sims office. It's like her lair. She's an evil programmer. Yeah, but the gallery, again, the gallery is a huge improvement from the older Sims games, but it's also glitchy. <laughs> so. Hey, Brit, that is huge. Congratulations. Okay, I'm gonna randomize their traits. Inquisitive, okay? No, older Sims games did not have the gallery. Um, we had a thing called the exchange in The Sims 3. It was not in-game. You could like download people's tray files off web the website, basically. Um, it was a lot worse. Um, way harder to use. Uh-oh, his sister died. Um, what? Oh my god! <laughs> what? Picados, thank you for the 10,000 bits! Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> oh my goodness! Thank you so much! Um, also, Britt and Leonie and, and Garrett and, and Piggy and Maisie, thank you all for the subs and bits too. Um, hello? <laughs> okay, are they... Uh-oh. Okay, as we suspected. Renesme, vampire. Jedward, human. So... That is the situation. Those eyebrows. They're... Look. I'm- I'm feeling a little bit concerned about her vampire genes. She's very surprised. 
Um, she will not be the heir. I'm telling you this right now. I am not having a vampire heir. It's not happening. I am not allowing those vampires to, to infest my family for all future generations. I just can't. <laughs> Oh, okay. I might keep her hair like that. It's nice. <laughs> I wonder what her traits are gonna end up being like. I'm kind of scared. It's a good thing that it's Caleb's babies and not like bloody daddy's babies. We could check him as teens. I might, I might actually check him as teens. That could be fun. Let me load back in. Cause listen, Vladdy daddy, as much as he is a just a great guy, um, he is so ugly. Like, it's it's so exceptionally bad. He probably has some of the worst genes in the whole game. Like it it's really bad. I can't have babies with Vladdy Daddy. Vladdy Daddy's dead. He's in my front yard. He's been there for about six generations. This is Vlad. So we can't have his baby. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Look, Vlad being ugly is a good thing. I'm not saying Vlad's a bad sim. I think Vlad is a well-made sim. I like that he looks like that. He is a poor choice to have children with, though. He, you have to admit, he is a poor choice. Okay, this is Jedward when he ages up. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not bad, he's fine. Renezme. Oh. <laughs> and one of those, you turn to the side, you're like, oh. But she's pretty! She's pretty! Her eyebrows aren't as bad as I thought they were gonna be. When she was a- I mean, you can tell they're a little bit arched, but as a toddler, they're, like, really arched. It's a shame she won't be the heir, because she's a vampire! <sighs> Anyway, you see why I was concerned? <laughs> Look at her eyebrows as a toddler. <laughs> I thought it would be more extreme. I was worried. I was worried. I'm not gonna cure her. You guys, we have a different sim. Look at their older sister. She's so pretty. Look. Look. If we're gonna pick one of these sims as the heir, I'm sorry, but I don't think it's gonna be them. Ignore her makeup. That's a poor choice. But look at how cute she turned out being. She's really pretty. So. She's a good heir. She's a good heir. I wanna make... I think I want to make her, I want her to look like a vampire. She looks like one of the default faces. Do you know why? So, okay, you know in Cottage Living, the mayor and how the mayor's son is like the grocer in Cottage Living? Um, so that, those people would have been her grandpa and great grandpa. They're dead. But her dad was was their son. Not their son together, but like it was the, the teen's son when he got older. If you know the family from Cottage Living. So that is why she's so pretty. <laughs> her father was very attractive. We got really lucky. Um, okay, his name was Harvey. He's dead. Anyway, um, not my fault. Certainly not my fault. I had nothing to do with that at all. <laughs> Lemon, Bailey, Imogen, thank you for the subs, everybody. Um, okay, I think... Yeah. 
I kind of want to dress her as a Christmas tree. I don't know. Something about it is kind of just speaking to me. I feel like, um... This is just, this is what I need to do. It really is cute. Okay, you have to admit, it's really cute. We can make her twin wear the other costume from Seasons. <laughs> oh, Ghostly, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I like it. Look, we're celebrating the holidays, okay? The way that I was like, I want to dress her like a vampire, and then I was like, mm, Christmas tree. Is there a hat? I don't actually know if there's a matching hat. Oh, there is. Oh my god, it even has the ears? Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, this is the Gen 8 whole family. The babies themselves are Gen 9. The Gen 9 Sims were just born. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Sit upon Sarah, thank you for the subs and bits too. Oh, I gifted you a sub in Chelsea's channel. Nice. I gifted um a few subs yesterday or the day before because Chelsea was doing a subathon. So quite fun. In my opinion, Renesme could marry in a cult. And then I could kill them and have their graves in my front yard. Simsy, how can I stop falling asleep while driving? Jay, I sincerely hope that you're trolling. If you're serious, see a doctor. That is extremely dangerous for yourself and everyone else. That's not a funny joke. See a doctor. Do not drive. I, like, that's not fun. We're not, I don't know if you're trolling or not. People troll all the time in my chat. That's not funny though. Don't drive if that's happening to you and see a doctor about it. Um, Genevieve, thank you for the eight months. Fan subject, thank you for the prime sub. And service dog shadow, thank you for the five gifted subs. Shelby with the 41 months, thank you so much. Um, I think we can have her marry a spellcaster and then I'll kill them both. Thoughts? Okay, I'll move my ghost family out of the household. Um, I'm gonna have them be like my neighbors though, so it's fine. Um, I'll have them live. I don't know these people, so I can kick them out. It's fine. Free real estate on. Okay. Yay! The grandparents live right nearby. And then I can decorate the extra bedroom. Um, Isabella, uh, I think the reasoning being that, um, I don't think that Twitch chat likes it when you talk about killing people. <laughs> uh, they said that Automod blocked them trying to say not to kill Renesmee. Um, I don't think that Automod is distinguishing between you saying kill so-and-so and don't kill so-and-so. So Automod um, is assuming that you're referring to like me. And they're like, don't talk about killing Simsy or anyone. And that's why auto mod is not a bad thing because it's picking stuff up and it's holding it for review so the mods can see it and they can decide if it's bad or not. Um, but anyway, um, I think 
I want to make we talked about making this room like Christmas themed because they have the Christmas outfits on and I'm actually very much okay with that I think that would be hilarious let me just sell some of this stuff so that I can be happy oops I didn't mean to sell the camera This is good money. We can get a really nice Christmas room with this. Um, no, I don't want to use this color. I want something like red. You know? Um... I feel like the red stripey wall might be one of the best options. Maybe I'll do it like that. Oh, it's only fall in game. It's not Christmas. <laughs> if that's what you're asking. I just happened to give my Sims um, matching Christmas outfits. might be haunted. <laughs> I'm hearing some ghosties around. Oh my god, I hope. I'm not kidding. I'll order you a pizza. You want a pizza? I'm serious. I'm so sorry you have to work so much today. This, or this week, this sucks. Um, okay, I think, do you think she closed my stream already? <laughs> do you think she heard me? <laughs> oh no, she said it's okay, I'm getting over time, goodbye. That, still, it sucks. <laughs> it still sucks. Okay, um... He did it again, but quieter that time? Okay, I might put them like this so I can scoot the, um, well, maybe I'll put the, well, no, that's horrible. I'm just thinking about how it would be really nice if you could still get into the beds from multiple sides. I don't know if you can get into that bed still. I'm not actually sure about bunk beds. Well, they're toddlers, so that's the current problem. I don't know if we can. Uh, I don't know if the bunk beds will, will work. Okay, I might hang up some snowflakes on the windows. How cute would that be? Super cute. I love it. I'm so excited. And then I want to put... We're going to need some toddler toys. But I'm just wondering if we could kind of like... Pretend as though... The toys they have are like decorative... If that would be good. Um, can we put that dollhouse like that? This bear like. This 
the wind chill is negative two degrees Fahrenheit for you. Oh my God, I'm not cut out to live anywhere but Florida. <laughs> I was talking to Dan about this earlier because um, obviously I'm I'm from Chicago, but I've lived in Florida for so much of my life that like I always talk about, oh, like it'd be so nice if I actually had seasons. Oh, the place that has actually seasons would be so great to live in. I don't know how to deal with snow. I don't know how to drive in ice. I don't like, I can, I, I'm not cut out for that. Do you know how much of an adjustment it would be to live in a place that is cold like that? I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'm ruined. I can never leave now. I don't know how to function like that. <laughs> like, for example, right now it's dark outside. 77 degrees. It's 25 Celsius out right now. <laughs> I don't know how to live in a place that's cold. To be fair, that it could be colder than that. But like a place that, I'm talking about places that get like a lot of snow. I don't know how to live like that. I'm not cut out for that. Um, Molly, thank you for the gifted subs, by the way. And Zara and Lauren and B and Shells and Rachel and Wild and Genevieve, thank you all for the subs too. Um, anyway. Moved from Louisiana to Colorado, had to learn a lot. Yeah, I, I bet. That must have been a huge learning curve. I, um, I don't know. I don't know how to do that. And Dan doesn't either. That's the thing. We're talking about, like, like, the UK is colder, but it's not, like, that cold. Can you put candles in a toddler's room? <laughs> I probably shouldn't. But you know what? I'm gonna anyway. I like it. I like them, and they can keep them. I'm gonna go with no on the toddler candles. Oh, you know, Christine, what do you know? You just like have a toddler. Personally, I think that fire is very safe for small children to be around. <laughs> I know more about that than you do, genius. Hey, Miv's mom is here. Hey, Miv's mom, what's up? It's okay if they can't access the other side of this. I've decided I don't mind. Because they can get into the bed from over here, right? I'll put some decorations there. I'll put a Christmas tree. Like a little one. Wouldn't that be fun? I think so. I don't like this. I'm sorry. I need to be bigger. <laughs> can I ask why it's Christmas themed? Yeah, you can. You're not going to get an answer though. Because I don't know why. Just is, isn't it? <laughs> I it, The reason is because I, I put the toddlers in... Um, Christmas outfits. So they're one of them is dressed up as a as a um one of them is dressed up as a Christmas tree and the other one is dressed up as an elf. scream like that. <laughs> Do I need to check on him for that one? Can somebody pull up his stream and tell me if he's okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Pearl, thank you for the nine months. Sanders with the tier two nine months. Or 22 months. Oh my goodness. Tier two, 22 months. He's having a great time, I think. He's fine. He's- it's fine, he died in the game. He screamed like that because he died in Dead by Daylight? He 
He is so dramatic. Are you kidding? He didn't even die, he was just hooked? You're kidding. So he's not even dead yet in the game? Wow. <laughs> okay, I think this will be good. Let me get him a couple more presents, or I mean toys, not presents. A couple more toys, cause I'm gonna need to take care of the toddler somehow. So they could use a couple things. That'll be good. They can have a Christmas room. And in the future they can have like Christmas, um, I don't know, bunk beds or something. No! No, 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 no. This is the worst Christmas ever. Oh my God, I just came out of build mode and now Asparagus is dead? This is horrible. Oh, it's a good thing I took that photo earlier. Oh man, and he died right in this pile of goo that my Sims left on the floor. <sighs> this sucks. <laughs> this is so bad. I d Ratchley died too? No, 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 no. After a good long life filled with treats and scratches, you've got to be kidding me. Not them both at the same time. Oh my god. This is really bad. This is really, really, really bad. How can this keep happening to me? The Grim Reaper has it out for us today. I'm Why do you have a pet bull but no pet? <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I come in and there's two deads. Oh my god. I come in and there's two deads. And now Dan wants to know if you're okay. I'm not! I need some water. Helena, frozen rage. Real thank you all for the subs and bits. Okay, well. Died at the same time as Ratsley 3. That way we'll remember them both. You've heard of moose ooze, but have you heard of dog ooze? <gasps> Shan! You guys see my moose slime? Look. Ooh. It's a slime, and there's a moose in it. Like a little plastic moose. Do you wanna see a worse one? Hang on, ew. I can't close it because of the moose. Okay. Now, the worst one, wait. Here was yesterday's slime. You're not gonna like this. I'm gonna let you listen to it first, and then you can, and then you can see it. Here's my slime. It's disgusting. I've never seen anything worse than this in my entire life. I'm serious. It's so, how, I have to be careful when I'm holding it because I don't want to drop it. container and then it like <gasps> ew, ew, ew. <laughs> it's so creepy 
It looks like the first poops newborn babies have that's black and slimy. It looks like what? I can't show this. I can't, I can't show this. I can't show that. That, it, it does look like that though. If you want to know what it looks like, it looks like that. I have to wash my hands again because of my slime. You can think about your baby poops while I'm gone. <laughs> you can think about what Christine's done. <laughs> I think Dan's angry. I'm listening to him talk about his game. He's like, this killer is bizarre. Anyway, <laughs> Rogue Madison Chen, thanks again for the bits. Should I get a new dog? My current one's dead, so we're gonna call this one Jacob. Which one? I like this one's called Fish. None of them are as ugly as I'd like them to be. I think fish might be the best one. Honey's a puppy, so it's gonna get bigger. It won't be as funny looking. Which is better? Oh, May, I mean... I'm gonna say the pots because I've been playing with them longer. Why Jacob? Because, because of Twilight. I kind of like this one. I'm not. No Twilight, bad Kayla. Bestie, I got twin vampires in my household. It's too late. You think Shelby is the best one? It's a corgi? Let me look up this other kind of dog. Oh, I opened the baby poop tab. Oh, but look at how cute these dogs are. Oh. My. God. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, 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 no. We gotta get this one. I'm sorry. I'm vetoing all of you. I'm getting fish. I'm getting fish. I could have met, I guess, more than one of them, but... <laughs> Too late. Well, Ferret, I know that my stream- Listen, my go live notification did say no sims will be harmed in the making of this stream smiley face. I recall what I put. However, my dog and my rat both died of old age. So it's not like I killed anyone. I didn't harm them. They simply, wait. No, 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 no. The adoption event's happening. If I lose this dog because of you. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. That was a close one. Jacob. What? Oh jeez, the Crim Reaper was still there. Let's see what Jacob looks like in Cass. Oh, there's probably been like 25 rats, Lee's May. I would, I would wager a bet. I don't think anyone remembers though. <laughs> My little eyes. 
Why was the Grim Reaper there? I napped for an hour. Hmm. Now, I don't know how to tell you this. Um. But. Asparagus? Is no longer with us. Asparagus went to the big dog house in the sky. Yeah. And and worse than that, Ratsley the third at the same time. Both of them of old age. It really was a tough five minutes that we've just had. It, we, this just happened. Anyway, now I have this dog. I will show you Jacob as a puppy. I do want to see. <gasps> You are so cute, you little guy. Oh, oh my god. Okay, I might let him stay a puppy just because I want it. I just want it for a little bit. Melts into a puddle. Don't make me do anything with puddles. Don't make me break out the slime. <laughs> you don't want to talk about puddles here. <laughs> I have a problem. I'm not kidding. Oh, this slime is the best thing I've ever received. Ever. <gasps> ah, ew! Ew! <laughs> I shook it by accident. Sorry, I won't play with it more. I just want- oh, I can't. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. I gotta stop. This is disgusting. <laughs> oh no. Okay, please be nice to the puppy. Get to know him. Offer your friendship. Currently baking and all I hear in my earphones is squishy slime. Oh, no <laughs> What you don't Well, do you not like it? This is me sending you a cease and desist to put the baby poop slime away. I get sued for the baby poop slime. I want a refund for all 19 months. <laughs> I'm reporting you to Twitch headquarters. Oh no. <laughs> oh, the dog is a puppy. It Well, it was an adult PMR, but then I aged him down in, in cast because we wanted to see it as a puppy and then it was so cute. So I kept it as a puppy. If that sound isn't TOS, then they need to rewrite them. You know what? You're not wrong about that. I should get banned for that one. Ew! How big of a fart is that? My goodness. Oh my goodness. You too? Oh my god. Oh, we're not messing around with these, apparently. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh my god, it's their first poop. It's gonna scare you. You can't! You heard my door! No, I heard you get silent. No, you didn't. Dan, listen to this. Why? Apparently talking about baby poop. Yeah! You wanna see it? What do you mean? Why? Did you just look up baby poop? Look! That's what babies poop out first. It looks like this. I thought it's green. 
It's a dark green. green. Yeah, I knew it was green. That's not surprising. But it looks like my slime. I already knew that. No, your slime. This slime is black. Yeah. So is that stuff? No, it's not. Don't get it out. Don't get it out. No, 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 no. It's like it's fully liquid. Look at that. <laughs> oh, it's so creepy. Look at that. <laughs> It's like a tongue. Ooh. 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 It's a tongue. I'm gonna cry. It's horrible. <laughs> the way it like slurps back into the container as well. It's so creepy. It's so creepy. I already did that. Yeah, you've been sitting there doing this, apparently. Yeah, I've been shaking it. Stop, they were getting mad at me for that. Why? Because it's gross. Can I have this in my room? Yeah, you can play with the phloem if you want. You've ruined it. No, I didn't. What are these finger marks? Yeah, because I was pressing it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Why did that scare you so much? Because for a second I thought this came flying out. <laughs> when the cap of yours landed on my leg, I thought that this one came flying out. So I... Oh, I'm sorry. That really scared me. Okay, bye. I thought I got the slime on my leg. I'm sorry. <laughs> Sheena, Ray. <laughs> Lexi, night so long. Thanks again for the subs, everybody. That was a nightmare. Truly, I apologize. Whew. Can I send her back to work, or is it too late for her? Her performance is bad. Um, okay. Oh! Alright, we got some hefty bills to pay. Like, 4,300 simoleons worth. Come on. What are you doing? Sit in your chair. Unhinged stream today. Do you know what? This always happens when we play the Potts family. Like, I don't know why we act surprised because this happens every time. Stop. The evil laughter. My goodness. Anyway, this always happens. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, she's evil. Um, this light thing came with the deluxe version of The Sims 4. I also did not know that it existed until, um, Santa gave it to me for Christmas, truth be told. Uh, and now I have it, and people love it. Pe every time I play this family, the whole chat, I get so many questions, like, what is that light thing? I also didn't know it existed. It's called the, like, Let There Be Light laser show or something. Um, it looks just like only the base in the build catalog, so you might think of nothing of it, but when you put it in your lot, it does this. So, no, Poppy's not having another baby, but she did just give birth, so. This wallpaper is from Mosquito Stuff. This one is from Spot A. Why is Curly Hannah Princess Giggles? Thank you all for the subs. Um, oh yeah, she's evil and responsible. Look, with great power comes great responsibility. That malware blocker plugin is making browsing the web safer for everyone. Poppy has earned zero simoleons for her efforts. <laughs> Great. She works open source. Right, 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 right. See? That's all. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it sounds about right. Okay, I'm gonna go to the bar. I need to try and find someone that I can cheat on. Um. I, I need a new boyfriend. I have to dump like so many people, so. Um, let me just come talk to this lady. Maybe I'll flirt with her right now. I can do it real fast. 
And she left. Okay. <laughs> Never mind about this lady. You know what? You're the one, I think. You're the one. Well, let's just say hey. Oh my goodness, Ian! I like the name Ian. That's a good one. Do a bold pickup line, I don't know. Okay, if we can just become in a relationship with this sim very quickly, I can cheat on her a couple times with someone else and then date them and then cheat on them, you know, like just keep it going. Should I kiss her? Oh my god, it's happening so fast. Easy! Can I ask for my girlfriend yet? Suave kiss. Wow. Ask to be girlfriend. Oh, that was easy. Come on. <gasps> you can't kill her, Kayla. You can't. I can't. She rejected me? <laughs> she rejected me! Look, here's the situation. I think that we shouldn't kill her yet. I think I should I should date and cheat on her first. Just so that I can make sure I get my aspiration and then I kill her. I feel like that's probably the best bet. You know? Like we need to give it a second. We we, we need to get what we need first. Maintain a level head for now. <laughs> Revenge Toast, thank you for the tier 2 11 months. Louise, Bully Cow Plants, Wise Girl Leanna, thank you for the subs. Oh my goodness, I just saw one of them suspicious user thingies for the first time. Interesting. Twitch chat thinks somebody is banavating. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not, you're, it's not you. <laughs> I think the person who it is, they know. <laughs> you know if you've been banned, so don't worry. <laughs> Just throw a little bit of fear out in the chat. Anyway, don't worry. Um, it's not, it's not you, don't fret. Don't fret. You would know if you were suspicious. I think the kind of people that are suspicious are often trying to be suspicious. <laughs> you know? Um, I think that tends to be how it goes. <laughs> so. Let me try this again. Compliment appearance. Blow a kiss, maybe? Likes patio decor. All right, let's keep trying. Compliment appearance again. Attempt to seduce, perhaps? I don't know. If you were banned, you wouldn't be able to type in the chat. So you, trust me, if you were banned, you would know. There'd be a big old pop-up blocking the whole chat saying, you've been banned. So it's okay. <laughs> I don't mean to alarm any of you. I promise if you were banned, you would know. <laughs> <laughs> it's really very clear. Um, yeah, it, it blocks- you can't read the chat when you're banned, um, and it covers it, and it says, like, you've been banned from Lil Simsy. So, you would know. Um, I assure you, you would know. If- if you can type, you're not banned. <laughs> um, no worries. Oh, they're dating! Yay! Okay, who should I flirt with? Alexia is my sister's girlfriend. That's- that's too far. I can't do that. 
How about this, Sam? Okay, we need to we need to get caught cheating a couple times. So as long as I just flirt like a couple times in front of her, we should be fine. Like pickup line. Wait, did my girlfriend see? Well, I think she might have left. Oh. Maybe I'll send her a flirty text and invite her somewhere else. Or at least let her invite me somewhere else. Let's try. Yeah, banned people can still see the stream. Um, they just can't type in the chat, so. I wish they couldn't see the stream, but I understand that, like, um, it's kind of hard to regulate that because they could just log out and then see the stream, you know? Um, but I, I feel like, personally, <laughs> if a person's been banned, you probably shouldn't show them- <gasps> Can I bring that home with me? Yes! I got another one! Okay. Sorry. <laughs> More graves! <laughs> okay, let me offer her a rose. Maybe some sims will show up then. Okay, let's just come over here. Oh, maybe I'll give a flirty introduction to Agatha Crumplebottom. Well, I want it to, I want you to get mad at me. Get mad at me. Catch me cheating on you. There you go. Caught once. Let's do it again. Sexy pose. Catch me again. What? She left. I'm trying to dump you now. Come on. Oh, Emma, Katie girl with the 43 months, Taco, Sarah, Taylor, Artificial Mood. Thank you all for the subs. Okay, let me dump her. Okay, that's three sims. Yeah, you know, I, I, I agree. If someone was cheating on me, I would also leave. I have a personal rift and I'm bitter, but she is deeply wounded. Yeah, I suppose this has been sort of traumatizing, what I just put you through. Are you dating anyone? No. I want a breakup relationship. You're not dating anyone. I don't want Eugene to break up with his wife. I already tried that once. Spouse none. Spouse none. Yeah, how am I bitter if I dumped her? I don't know. That seems like a me problem, but it's fine. <sighs> I'm probably gonna kill her tomorrow, so. <laughs> Emma, thanks for the 10 months. <laughs> I'll probably put her in the pond tomorrow. It'll be fun. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay, um, anyway, I think, um, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, get leftovers, and we'll just go to sleep. Yeah, I may have said that no harm would be done, but I make no promises. What happens, happens, you know? So. <laughs> nope. Time for bed, everyone. Time for bed. Sleep. Sleep. Auto lights, all lights. Okay. Um. Come on. Thank you. Are you in bed? Thank you. Come on, everyone. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Save the game. Let's go. Let's go. Emily, Brooke, Abby. Thank you all for the subs, everyone, too. Um, okay. <laughs> now we just wait. Oh, does Jacob want to play? Mm. He might be a little bit sad. Maybe I'll um, give treat. Oh, what are you so stressed about? 
calm down. You're fine. <laughs> Noobtastic, thank you for the bits. You know, Shelb, that's a good question. They asked if you can transfer packs from PS4 to PS5. It should be the same, because you would have it on the same PlayStation account, yeah? So the answer is yes, you should absolutely be able to. You can use any of the same games on between them, right? Is that how it works? Um, as long as you have the same account, it should be fine. Um, yeah, there you go. So you'll be set. Um, I don't know much about console. I'm not very familiar. I don't own like a PlayStation or anything. So um, I'm not like the best person to ask if you have questions about it. <laughs> um, but I, that kind of thing should be fine, like across um, all of them. So it's like the same, it's the same thing, like sort of as if you were to get a new computer, like as long as you use the same origin account, you'd have the sim still, like you don't need to rebuy it or anything. Um, you won't be able to have it from console to desktop or from like PS4 to Xbox though. Um, but if you have like a PlayStation 4 and then you get a PlayStation 5, you can use it still. Um, does that make sense? Um, no, I wouldn't play the Last of Us games. May, I watched Dan play Last of Us. Um, so I, I've seen Dan play those games. Um, so I've seen them. And I, I, like, I don't know if I feel the need to play them myself, you know? I liked watching a gameplay of The Last of Us, but I don't know if I cared too much to play it myself again. Even though, like, because I've already seen it and, like, I'm not a huge, um... I'm not a huge fan of games like that anyway. <gasps> no, wait! Oh no, I lost my sharks. Well, I'll get some piranhas back then. Um, but yeah, I, I haven't really played games like that so much, so. Well, Life is Strange is different. Life is Strange is a lot easier to play um, and not as nasty. Um, Life is Strange is way more up my alley than The Last of Us. Listen, besties, The Last of Us and, um, I, cause I watched Dan play The Last of Us and The Walking Dead. Both of those games gave me nightmares. Like, I, I was legitimately having zombie nightmares. Like, gruesome zombie nightmares. Because of those. Um, so I just, I, I don't really want to play them. <laughs> I liked watching them. I don't really feel a need to play them though. Um, yeah, I'm I'm kind of a weenie when it comes to gruesome things like that. So, so you're not gonna play Resident Evil then? You know, it's okay. Yeah, that's what I was just saying, Caroline. Dan streamed The Last of Us, so I watched Dan stream The Last of Us, um, but I I haven't played it myself. I've seen it all though. Um, no, the door's not locked for the puppy. I think it won't go out because it's, there's a roof above this. So I think it won't go out because it needs to be, like, carried out. Um. I might carry the puppy outside. Let me come out here. Put Jacob down out here so he can go potty. Come on. He can't go downstairs because he's too small. Has to go potty. There you go. Go, little guy. You did it! Yay! Okay, pick up again. Come on. Now let's go inside. Put Jacob down in here. Come on. Oh, it's pooping. Okay, maybe I'll have the mom pick him up. <laughs> Yeah, puppies can't go up and down stairs. That's why I had to carry him down myself. Um, these two are eating cookies for breakfast. But yeah, anyway, I really liked The Last of Us storyline. Um, I just don't want to play it myself. I don't want to. That's how I feel too, Christine. L listen, I... I don't like consuming apocalypse media. <laughs> like, I don't want to watch some movie about the end of the world. I don't want to play an apocalypse game. Like, I... I'm so anxious all the time, just as is. That is my general state of being. I don't like to watch things that stress me out. 
Like, I would rather consume, I, like, I don't know, more positive things. <laughs> My brain is very fragile already, you know? Um, and it's not, like, because the thing is, I've enjoyed reading and watching, like, loads of dystopian type things when I was younger. Um, I think that the problem is more like the gore of, of games and movies and stuff like that, because there's always a lot of, like, in The Last of Us, there's lots of zombies and, like, fighting and guns and, like, just, you know, I don't enjoy this. I'm just not, I don't like to watch, like, action films either. Like, I just don't, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know, I'm not into it that much. I play The Sims, <laughs> like, if that, if that's any, um, explanation. <laughs> Are the 200 graves in your front yard positive? Okay, but let's, again, it's not gory. I think the gore is a big part of the problem. I just don't like that kind of thing. Um, I'm just not, like, that interested in that kind of stuff anyway, but, anyway. Nothing wrong with it, I just, it's not my cup of tea. So, <laughs> Ravenclaw, Indigo, started driver's ed today. Oh, I'm really proud of you. That is a big step. I, um, trust me, I, I hate driving, so. Mmm. <laughs> yeah, the gore is why I don't want to watch Squid Game either. Dan has seen, um, Squid Game now, and he was like, yeah, you wouldn't like this. <laughs> Get your license in four days? Yay! That's really exciting. That's really exciting. Um. I just don't want to see that kind of thing. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, do I have bills to pay again? No, I don't. Thank God. Oh, I read The Hunger Games like five times, Laura. The Hunger Games, um, I really liked reading them. Again, that movie's not super my cup of tea, but because I read it, it's better. Um, but like... I think if The Hunger Games were to come out now, I probably wouldn't, like, I, if I hadn't read the book, um, and if it, wait, what did she just ask me? Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't read it. I told her to do something and I shouldn't have. But, like, I don't think I would like The Hunger Games now. I don't know what she's gonna do. I just said yes. Was it a baby? Hang on. I wanna... It's not been 60 seconds, right? I can clip my own stream so I can go back and look at it. Come on. Click through, click through, click through, click through. Give me something to work with. I want to see the phone call. What did it say? Oh, it's good to hear your voice, Poppy. I want to ask if I should get to know Caesar a little bit better. They seem like good company, whatever. They just wanted to be friends with someone. It was a friend thing. It's fine. It's fine. No one's going to have any babies or anything. <laughs> Jay, Vulcan, Ravenclaw, thank you for the stuff. It's boring. Oh yeah, I read Percy Jackson too, Sim Legacy. That was like ages ago. Oh my god, don't even get me started on Percy Jackson. The movies were a travesty. Terrible. Anyway. No, I would like them to have a baby, but I would like to know if that's what I said. You know? I have- listen, I'll tell you a story again. I have a really bad experience with the Percy Jackson movies. So, my freshman year of high school. The first week of school is my birthday. My dad gets diagnosed with cancer. Same time. I'm 14. Same week. On my birthday, we're going to go see the new Percy Jackson film on the Friday when it came out. My friends went without me. I did not have the best friends in school. They weren't my friends. Freshman year was horrible. Those girls were very mean to me. But. <laughs> I 
Anyway, um, I hate the Percy Jackson movies. <laughs> that happened to you too? It's just unbelievable. Anyway, it was a rough, it was a rough time in my life. Um, yeah, it was a rough time. <laughs> oh, the books are great. I loved the Percy Jackson books. Um, the movies are objectively bad. And then there's the whole, you know, situation with the, um, <laughs> the friends. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the cancer business too. That kind of sucks. So. I wonder if Dan ever read Percy Jackson. Oh, my sister. Um, my sister is rereading Warrior Cats right now. She she just finished reading the second book again. She read them like a million times in elementary school. I hasn't read them in years. But Shanna's rereading the Warrior Cats books right now. I never read those, but I knew like loads of people that did. That was like one of those ones people just loved. Um, but Shanna started reading him again because she was like, you know what? That could be fun. <laughs> so she's rereading Warrior Cats right now. Um, it's kind of fun to read those books that you like really loved when you were younger. Um, it's an easy read and it's kind of fun. So like I read The Hunger Games again recently. Um, like I started reading it on the plane when Dan moved. Um, and I, I finished reading him again recently. It's kind of fun. Like I read The Hunger Games like five times in middle school, but I hadn't read them since. So, I kind of liked rereading them. <laughs> um, it was kind of fun. Okay, what you doing? Stop mourning people. You don't care. You don't care. <laughs> Jay, uh, Vulcan, Ravenclaw, thanks again for the subs, everybody. Um, <laughs> I need some more water. I did read the Mortal Instruments in high school, yeah. I was like obsessed with the Mortal Instruments in high school. <laughs> um, I should reread those. Those books are a mess. Incest is like a major plot point of the Mortal Instruments. Basically, <laughs> these two start dating. Then they're like, oh my God, we're siblings. This is horrible. Whatever, I don't care. And then, oh wait, we're not siblings. It's fine. And that's like the story of <laughs> the Mortal Instruments. I mean, there's other stuff going on too, but like they start dating, find out they're related, and then they find out again they're not related. And it was all a lie. <laughs> I have to spoil it. We can't let people think that there's incest in these books. We need to give, we need to like have this be known up front. Yeah. <laughs> Um, but anyway, I read those. Um, it's a whole thing. Now I can't read it. Well, you ruined it, Kayla. I liked those books, though, when I was, like, 14. I have them behind me. I could read them again if I wanted to. Oh, my God. Maybe I'll bring that to my cousin's wedding. Because we have a long drive. Maybe. Oh. I might do that. Do you know what? I also, I liked the Divergent books a little bit when I was younger. I read Divergent. That was, I read a lot when my dad was in the hospital because he had a bone marrow transplant. So he was in the hospital for a long time. Um, and I read a lot while he was gone because like my mom and dad went to Tampa to the hospital and like stayed there for like two months. Um, and my grandparents came and stayed with us at home so we could like go to school. Um, and I read a lot while he was gone. And um, the Divergent books were one of those things. And I... Do you know what? I liked the books. Why is it gotta end like that? And you know what? The movies? A disaster. They didn't even finish the movies. They never finished making them all. <laughs> it just like... Anyway, I will never get over that. Anyway, I can't, I'm not gonna tell you how it ends. It's stupid though. It's stupid. Didn't have to be like that. <laughs> anyway, the movie thing is horrible though because I think the movies did a lot worse than they expected them to. So then they were like, scrap it, we won't make the last movie. And then they were like, forget it, let's make a TV movie instead of like a theater release movie, like a lower budget one. And the actors were like, no, I don't wanna do that. And so they just didn't finish them. They just never made the last movie. So, anyway, 
But Divergent was, like, one of the, in my opinion, worst of those, like, dystopian YA books of that era. Um, but I liked it when I read it when I was, like, 15, so 14. Um. <laughs> Your friend spoiled the ending for you? Oh, I would have been mad if the ending was spoiled for me. I would have been really sad about that. Um. You know, I never read Twilight. I never read Twilight. Um, I read the first book, but I didn't read the rest of them. I was never a big Twilight fan. I honestly, I'm I'm pretty sure that I've never even seen all of the Twilight films. I've I've seen most of them, but I think we skipped one in the middle. Cause my friend and I watched them all in one day, and then we were like, we don't need to watch this one because it's useless. Or at least she said that. And I don't know if I ever went back and saw it. And I don't know which one it was. <laughs> so. Don't want to go on a date with you. Which one is that? That's the one that I started flirting with again. The second one. Let's try. Anyway, I don't know which one I missed, but I'm not sure if I've ever seen even all of the Twilight films. I've seen the first one. Momo, I'm not kidding. I would do it. I have a question. Is Twilight, does it happen to be on the watch parties thing on Amazon? Because wouldn't that be hilarious if we did a watch party and we streamed ourselves watching Twilight? It is? Oh my God. So the way that works, um, if you have Amazon Prime, you can tune into the watch party. You have to have it, unfortunately. That's just how it works. Um, and then I could, like, stream myself watching it. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, I've never done it before. But we could test it out. I'd have to give, like, ample warning, though. Um, but that could be an interesting thing to try. I'll think about it. Oh, is it on Netflix too? Oh, that's true, because then you guys could try and sync it up. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know how the watch party thing works. I have to, I'd have to like test it out more um, before I like commit to it, because I'm not sure um, how it works, but that's an interesting idea. Um, I don't know if it works in Europe. I the the problem is that I don't know because it, it's like a weird licensing thing. So I don't know how I'd have to look into it more um, before I like definitively answer questions. No, you wouldn't have to pay for it. It's like if you had Amazon Prime, you can like tune into the watch party if your account is connected to Twitch. Because Amazon owns Twitch, there's like. Um, but I don't know how it works. I don't know how it works. So I, I shouldn't commit to this until we like look into it more. Um, but I'll give you like plenty of warning too. Um, anyway, <laughs> the reason it, you have to have Prime is cause that's like how, um, cause that way Amazon knows that like you have permission to watch this cause you already have Prime. So like, it's fine. I think is why it works. Cause you would have it on, like you could watch it yourself on Prime streaming. Anyway, um, it's a weird one. <laughs> Sentiment gained, okay? <laughs> yeah, some people do Discord watch parties. I don't know how successful that would be to this scale. Does that make sense? Um, I... I worry about that. I worry that I would get in trouble for streaming things like a movie from Discord to Discord. I feel like that's... Does that make sense? I don't know if people get in trouble for it, but I worry that, like, it might be big enough that they might get mad. You know? Um. Oh, Stepbug, you can stream things on Discord. There's a setting you can turn off in Chrome. Um so that it doesn't black screen you when you try and stream things to Discord, but you can. Um, I, I am telling you this as a person who was in a long distance relationship with someone from a different country for three years. Um, you can stream things on Discord. <laughs> um, 
I have an experience. <laughs> you have to Google that one. I don't remember the specifics how to turn it off, but um, it's not that hard. Don't worry. Oh, my gravestone's still in my inventory. Hang on. Found this one at a bar. The grave, not a person. I didn't kill anyone. That was just a person from the bar, though. I, I went to a bar to cheat on somebody, and then there was a, a grave there, so I got excited and brought it home. <laughs> Casey, Chantel, Emma, Taylor, Spell, and Quar, and Jay, and Keep Up, and, and Dianis, and Jay, and thank you all for the subs. Oh my goodness. <gasps> oh! Can I tell you all? Wait. Hang on. Okay, she's not here. I was checking the viewer list to see if Dan's mom was here. But Dan and I bought, um, yesterday, a bunch of, like, little things to mail to his family for Christmas. Like, we're gonna buy them things and, like, in the UK, from a UK website, and, like, ship it to his mom's house and then have her wrap them, because that way it's cheaper and not expensive to, like, mail them internationally, you know? Um, but we're gonna send a box of, like, some small things, like, a couple, like, silly, like, Amer- like, we found this dog toy that's, like, a dollar bill shape. It's like a like American money, but instead of a president, it has a dog's face. It's but it's like a little dog toy for Lottie. So we we bought that. Like silly things like that that are light that are easy to ship, you know. Um, but we also got a bunch of candies, um, like some weird like American things that he didn't think they had there. Um, one of which we got some Tootsie Pops. <laughs> I haven't thought about Tootsie Pops in so long. I kind of forget those things even exist, but we got some Tootsie Pops. We found, um, Mickey Mouse, uh, goldfish, which is hilarious because, like, Orlando. So we got some of that. Um, I don't know if they're an American thing, but he never had them, so I assume his family hasn't had them either. It's a lollipop with a Tootsie Roll in the center. They're kind of weird. Um, but anyway, we've got some like kind of funny things like that, um, that are like obviously light and easy to mail. Um, <laughs> but I'm excited. They're not that good, but that's okay. It doesn't have to be good. It just has to be fun. That's the idea. I'm not a huge fan of Tootsie Rolls. I, I haven't eaten them in, in, I don't even know when since. It's been forever, but I was never a big fan of Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Um, I was- I was never into those. So. Do you want to take a shower? Here. And go to sleep. Tootsie Rolls are like, um... Are they like a taffy? I don't- But it's chocolate? It's like a chewy... Yeah, Tootsie Roll is a chocolate-flavored taffy-like candy. Has quality similar to both caramels and taffy without being exactly either confection. So it's like a combination of like a chewy caramel and a chocolatey taffy thing. They're kind of weird. It doesn't taste like chocolate, it's like chocolate. And they're really hard to chew and it's like a little nugget looking thing. Um, and then a Tootsie Pop is one of these in the center of a lollipop. But I never liked them that much. Anyway. Is taffy like toffee? No. Do you not have taffy? How do I describe taffy? What is- what is taffy? It's like a chewy candy. Taffy is a type of candy made in the U.S. made by stretching or pulling a- it says invented in the U.S. Made by stretching or pulling a- pulling a sticky mass of boiled sugar, butter, or vegetable oil, flavorings and colorings, until it becomes aerated, resulting in a light, fluffy, and chewy candy. I'm- I'm sure that you have something similar wherever you live. You've probably seen something like that. It's those, you know, chewy... candy. Sometimes they're kind of hard to chew. But... Yeah, I'm- I'm sure you've had something similar wherever you live. Um... But... Anyway, like toffee? I mean, toffee is... Because toffees are like caramel, more so, right? It's not like that. This one is... doesn't taste like that. 
but it's a similar texture to like a chewy caramel. Um, sometimes they have other flavoring in them. It's kind of like Starburst, but more chewy. I don't know. Um, I guess Starburst in the UK is a lot more chewy than it is in the US. Starburst is kind of weird and hard here. So, I don't know. Anyway, you've definitely had a thing like taffy before. You might just call it something different. There's probably like a brand that you can think of that's like that. Like we have like Laffy Taffy is like the cheap kind at the grocery store. Yeah, Starburst in the UK is different. Well, in the US, um, they make Starburst with gelatin and they don't in the UK. So they also have a couple, like, they have a black currant flavor and stuff like that that we don't have. Um, are you stuck? You fail. I know there's a couple other things that they have that we don't have in it. So. All of our candies are weird. Yeah, Starburst are fruit flavored only here too, Laura. Um, but you might have different fruit flavors for yours than we do. So. Yeah, I, okay, so blackcurrant is a weird one. I don't know if you knew this. Um, this is gonna be shocking for I think two places. Um, blackcurrant is like a really popular candy flavor in the UK. Like you'll find loads of blackcurrant flavored things. In the US, you might be like, what is that? I've never heard of that before. But like loads of the most common, like they, like if the US had blackcurrant, we would have like a blackcurrant Jolly Rancher. Like it would be, it's like they, everything has it. Like grape and cherry and blackcurrant. It's just like very popular. We don't have that here because it was illegal to grow blackcurrant in the US for a super long time because of some like weird tree disease. Um, I don't think it's banned anymore, but it's not like popular because we, you couldn't have blackcurrant here for like a super long time. So no one here has it. We don't like have blackcurrant stuff. But that's why, because we banned it for a long time because of like some tree disease. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't know exactly. I had to look it up to know the specifics, but that's why. Isn't that so weird? Um, but yeah, you might have heard of it before, but, um, like I wasn't familiar with that flavor until I started going to England a lot because I got a British boyfriend, you know? Um, but that's not like a, a flavor that I'm very familiar with. Um, but anyway, tell Dan to smuggle some over. Like, get some, like, blackcurrant flavored Starburst or something and bring them over. <laughs> but yeah, I don't really like it. Like, I've tried some candies and I don't like it. It's weird. It's odd. <laughs> um, but anyway, you're just used to what you're used to, right? But it's kind of funny. Um, it's a fun fact. Okay, I'm going to use the bathroom and take a shower. You need to get out of there. Why are you in that bathroom? Um, no, the flavor's not banned. The, the plant was banned, but because the plant was banned, people did not use the flavor, you know? Um, like, when was it? It was banned for a long time, like, a long time ago. Um, you know, when we weren't really doing artificial flavors. 1911. The nutrient-rich berries were banned in 1911 because they were thought to produce a fungus that could damage pine trees. As, as new disease-resistant berries were produced and new ways to prevent the fungus from damaging timber were developed, some states started to lift the ban in 2003. So. <laughs> it was, like, banned for a long time. Like, I- that's why we don't have it. Yeah. Like, I'm, like, recently unbanned. Um, but anyway, like, do you have, like, a blackcurrant skittle? No, it's not like poisonous. It was it was only because of the tree fungus. Um. But anyway. Yeah, our purple Skittles are grape flavored. I mean, Morgan, they might have a different like breed of pine tree in or species, I don't know what the word is, in Europe that is less susceptible to it, and that's why. But like the natural pine trees in the United States are more susceptible to the fungus and that's why they were worried about it. I mean, that I don't know the specifics. <laughs> I don't know why they banned the the black currants in 1911, but that's what they did. So um 
Anyway, it's interesting, is all. <laughs> Casey, Chantel, Emma, Taylor, thank you guys for the subs, everybody. Um, all right. Can you guys leave? I don't really want to deal with you right now. Shoo. Shoo. Really, Gabby? I mean, look, you might have black currants growing in your yard. Uh, they just might not farm them, like, commercial. I don't know. Um... All I know is that we just, they weren't popular here for a long time because of the, um, the tree fungus. <laughs> um, the word for plant species is actually variety. Okay, there you go. I don't know much about the difference. <laughs> Do you know, I've never had those cotton candy flavored grapes. I've heard about them before. I don't think I've ever seen them before though. Um, that's interesting, though. I feel like I've seen, don't they do, like, apples that, um, taste like grapes or, or, like, vice versa or something, too? Science is weird. I've never had the cotton candy grapes. Oh, wait, that's, I need to get a new food plate for the other kid. Grapples! There you go. Never had those either. <laughs> I am not familiar with this. <laughs> hey, Ray, it's good to see you. Um, wait, did you not get one either? Uh-oh. Is it because you stole the... Here, give the cake to your sister. She missed the last piece of both the things. Oh, wait, not you. You. Oh, God. Fail. Here, take the last piece. Come on. There. There. Um, anyway. Good talks, everybody. <laughs> I don't know where you get cotton candy grapes. Um, how often do I go to Disney? Oh, not. I went to Disney last week, but I don't regularly go to Disney. I made a, a video in Disney. Dan and I vlogged going to, cause like, you know how the Star Wars section, they just made one in Hollywood Studios, like, well, I guess it was like six years ago. Um, but it's very similar to how like the Sims 4 Batu pack looks. Like the places, there's there's lots of overlap, basically. So I wanted to go and um, vlog it as a joke, you know? Just a fun, fun idea. So I'm posting that on Saturday. It's 30 minutes long, it's finished. Um, but it's a, it's a 30 minute long Disney vlog. <laughs> So, um, I've never vlogged like that before in public. It was kind of fun. Do you have work today? Yes, in 42 minutes. Do you think that the babies will get, um, do you think that they'll get bathed while they're at daycare? Kayla doing vlogmas? Oh my god. If I tried to do vlogmas, it would be so boring. I don't do anything. Um, I have to go potty. Come on. I need to fix the flea problem, too. Oh, Jacob learned to pee outside. It wasn't six years ago, it was a couple years ago. When did, hang on, when did they... They were announced in 2015, construction began in 2016. Okay, there you go. Um, so they were announced six years ago. That's why I thought that. They opened in 2019, so it's only been open for a couple years. Um, but they started, started it six years ago. See? Oh my god, look at my dog. This is bad. I'll have to bring it inside as soon as the kids get home. <laughs> anyway, I don't do much. Um, I don't, I don't get out much. So a vlog on a regular day would not be that interesting. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'd be like, good morning, everybody. I'm gonna, um, record a Sims video. <laughs> okay, everybody, I'm gonna <laughs> do some emails. <laughs> like, the exciting part would be going to the grocery store. I'm not kidding. It really wouldn't be the, the most fun. Um, so... <laughs> 
OMG Publix. And the thing is, I wouldn't even go to my Publix. If I was gonna vlog, I wouldn't vlog at like my Publix. I'd have to go to a different Publix and then act like it's my Publix so that you wouldn't know where I live. <laughs> you know, I couldn't even go to my, <laughs> my local grocery store in the vlog because <laughs> then people would know. Um, anyway, I'm not a, I'm not a vlogger. I'm, I think a lot of people are more interesting than I in their day-to-day -day lives. I really don't get out much. So, I mean, Hope, I'd go visit you in DC. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Um, Shan, they might have been, I think they were asking a serious question with that one. Um, I don't know though. Um, we've watched you build houses in The Sims, watch you do anything. I mean, fair enough. Um, here's me playing with my cat. Oh, they were spam, oh, they were spamming the question. I see. I see. Never mind. Don't copy and paste the same question. <laughs> Don't do that. Um, anyway, maybe I'll try vlogging more. I don't know. If I think of a fun thing to... If I find a fun thing to vlog, maybe I will. <laughs> if I'm doing anything interesting, perhaps. And that's the other thing. Like, I'm doing something interesting this week, but like, I'm going to my cousin's wedding. I'm not gonna vlog at my cousin's wedding. <laughs> Or like, same thing, I would, cause I was talking to Dan about this when we were at my grandma's house and we were talking about how, um, how weird and, and like difficult it must be to be a vlogger in the sense that like, I went to my grandma's house and then like, you have to be so open to sharing like everything in your life, including like the inside of your grandma's house. <laughs> You know, it's like kind of a weird personal thing and then it also like sort of drags everyone in your life into it as well because like I'm vlogging all the time. So I'm at grandma's house and I'm vlogging at grandma's house, you know, but um, I don't know if I feel comfortable sharing like that, <laughs> you know, um, I don't even feel comfortable doing a house tour. Um, I don't want to hang out with you. I'm sorry. It's just a weird thing. I mean, some people are more comfortable with that than I am. I just, um, I think that another thing is that I've been kind of like scarred by uh, viewers coming to my house a few times. Now I'm like, yeah, I really don't want to, <laughs> I really don't want to show those things up, up close. Um, that's not, I don't know, it's too much. Um, I don't know, I just, uh, scary. <laughs> yeah, it's happened a few times. Please don't do that. It makes me want to cry. <laughs> it makes me feel very afraid. Um, anyway, I did, May, I did post a house tour when I first moved into this place. Um, you know, people can change their mind. Um, and it was unfurnished. It was when I first moved in and I have since deleted it because I realized that I didn't want people to see the layout of my house. Um, and you know what else? This is, it's genuinely really scary. I, um, I probably shouldn't bring this up, but like Dream, the YouTuber, um, he was doxxed. And do you know how? Because he posted a photo of his cat and the cat was like sitting on his kitchen counter. And because he had bought a house like a year or two before, um, and the house had been renovated before he bought it the kitchen was like nice and and like updated and sort of recognizable people dug through listing photos to find the kitchen that matched the photo of the cat and because he's so famous like people care to spend a lot of time doing it and doxed him that way like you the internet is scary you have to be so careful about stuff like that that is so scary how like how is that even possible from a picture of a cat, like, um, but anyway, I, uh, <laughs> you can't mess with that stuff, <laughs> so, um, anyway, and now you're right, now that, like, reverse image church is getting so good, it's even worse, like, it's just, um, I don't know, 
you can't trust people online. Like, the vast majority of people have good intentions, but then, you know, there's, there's the few that are really good at being bad. Um, and so, you just, I don't know, it's kind of freaky. Um, why won't you bathe the dog? She won't bathe the dog. I guess she needs to bathe herself first, huh? Um. What? Why won't they do anything? Maybe the game's glitch. Let's go to Manage World and come back. Um, oh, cat! I'm really proud of you. Congratulations. Um, also, another cat with a sub. Layla, Black Star, Egg, Heidi, Ray of Sunshine. Thank you all for the subs, too. Um. But, anyway. Um. I think about that a lot with people on- you know how a lot of those people on Instagram that have, like, house accounts? Um, they share, like, the front of their house. And I know it's their job, like, their job is to show their home. But I would- I- like, that's bold. That's brave, honestly, to share the front of your house. I follow this person on Instagram called Chris Loves Julia, and, um, they, like, just sold their house and moved to North Carolina or something. But I remember she posted a video of like, cause they posted the listing, so everyone had the address and like could see it. Just like loads of cars would drive by her house like very slowly. And you could tell they were doing it to like look at her house. So like there would be like people coming to her home to see it, which I guess, I guess to an extent they've signed up for, but like they've got little kids and like, I just, mm, I know those people have good intentions cause they just want to see the house. Like they like it and whatever, but it's really weird when you think about it more like I don't know I don't know it makes me kind of <laughs> um, so I, I wonder how they like manage that I wonder how they feel safe because I I wouldn't feel safe oh Jacob aged up um, anyway I just I, I don't want to show the outside of the front of my house what is this where's it going I didn't open cast. Maybe I did. Oh, maybe I clicked on the mirror by accident. I don't know. Um, but anyway, I just, I don't know how, how they would feel safe. Because you just don't trust anyone. I mean, I'm sure it's worth it for them. And they must have, like, good security systems and stuff like that. But cameras just everywhere. <laughs> um, but still, it's kind of freaky. Um. <laughs> And I wonder if people, like, dare to come to the door. It's one thing to drive past it. It's another thing to, like, knock on the door, you know? Um. Oh, Soap! Congratulations! That is so, so, so exciting. I am really happy for you. Um, thank you so much. Um, well, you hear stories about that. I mean, it ha it's happened to me of people coming to my house to the front door. Um, it makes you... Toddler is on the table. How does this keep happening? <laughs> How does this keep happening? <sighs> okay, we fixed it last time by moving the table. Let's try again. Oh my god, <laughs> it's still on the table. Help! Well, now he's floating! Okay, there we go, he's fixed. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm just- I- I deserve- Oh wait, that was the wrong sim. I deserve this. Okay. Look. I just had to make sure everyone was okay. Bailey, thank you for the 10 months. Miss Griffey, thank you for the 9 months. And Mystic, thank you for the subs as well. Um, oh, Chantel, people are welcome to come up to me in public. I I don't mean to, to discourage that. Um, that That's different than um, coming to my house. <laughs> you know, if you see me at the store, it's it's not the same thing as, as seeing me at my front door. You know, I would love to say hi in public. <laughs> However, my home, off limits. 
<laughs> don't come here. Um, anyway, that it was, um, it really freaked me out a lot when it happened, the few times that it did, because I was alone. I think, it hasn't happened since Dan moved, but if it happened again, I think I would still feel really stressed out, but less stressed out, because I know that I'm not alone, and also they know that I'm not alone. But I didn't like, and I, this is understandable, that I was like, a young woman by herself in this place with strangers at the door. Like, I, I didn't like that people knew I was here by myself. I felt very vulnerable um, because of that. I think we all would. Um, so, <laughs> that was a big thing um, that I've been dealing with this year, but not so much anymore. So, <laughs> anyway, um, that's what dads are for, though. Both times that it ha he screamed both times that it happened my family was not home one of the times my parents were at a wedding so like my whole like my brother everyone was out of town um so <laughs> isn't that cool um but i couldn't even like call someone because they weren't there um Y'all go to a lot of weddings. It's just three. <laughs> three of my cousins have gotten married this year. And that was because they all were supposed to get married last year, but then they got canceled because of COVID. Um, I only have three cousins that are married. And they all got married this year. <laughs> so. Um, I didn't go to that wedding because I was helping Dan move um, like very soon afterward and I uh, didn't want to be away that much. So anyway, it was horrible. So. Um, I think, um, <laughs> um, no, I didn't tell them to leave. I didn't want them, I don't think that those people knew which house was mine. Um, I could hear them on my ring camera. I'll, I probably shouldn't tell you what they were doing, but whatever, I'll tell you what they were doing. Um, I could hear them on the camera. They were, I was streaming and, um, they were like playing my stream out loud, listening to it up close and spamming the doorbell, trying to see if they could hear it um, on the stream. And then they were like honking their car horn. I, they were trying to like narrow down which house was mine, I think by doing that. Um, and I could hear them being like, let's try the next one. And then they came back like three times. Um, anyway, um, but I could hear like, I they were listening to my stream. <laughs> I could hear it on the video, so. Unpleasant. Oh, that's not your bed. Silly. Oh, that's your bed. I clicked on the wrong sim. Um, but anyway, it stressed me out a lot, so. I Luckily, I didn't realize that they were viewers until um, I got off of stream and I like watched the video back. Um, when I was streaming, I had a gut feeling that scared me, but I, I obviously couldn't tell for sure. So I was able to sort of ignore it a little bit. Um, but then I got off stream and I watched it back and I was like, oh my god, they're playing my stream. <laughs> so, um, no, I didn't call the police. I, I decided that if they came back when I was off stream, I would. But they didn't come back when I was off stream, so. Um, I also thought about going to spend the night at my parents' house by myself and, like, not staying here overnight because I was worried about being here alone. But they didn't come back that night, so it's fine. Um, they did come back, like, three times, but <laughs> not after I was not alive. So, um, anyway, people suck, so. The other weird thing is that they were holding this weird bag. This is what made me nervous. They had this, like, brown bag, like a paper bag, which is why when I first saw it, I thought they had, I thought they were, like, a, like a delivery, like, Uber Eats that came to the wrong house, um, when I first saw them on the camera while I was live. But then they kept coming back, and they were playing my video. So, I, were they trying to bring me something? Like, I... Why did they have this weird brown bag and what was in it? <laughs> this is the thing. Like, they could have been trying to be nice and give me a gift. However, not nice. Don't come to my house. Um, but, like, what's in the bag? It was like a... Anyway. Um, and you just can't take the chance, right? Like, you don't know who they are. I have a P.O. box. Like, <laughs> that's not how you do nice. They were probably like 20 something, young, early 20s, maybe like 19, I don't know. Um, they weren't like children and they weren't like older than me, 
I don't think. They were like around my age. I hope they're cringing listening to this. They made me cry. <laughs> Maybe they did it on purpose to make me cry, I don't know. But I was very scared. <laughs> Um, I was really afraid. So, I don't know. Maybe they just didn't think it through. I don't know, but it freaked me out a lot. Um, I think it would freak out anyone. I think if you think about it a little bit. Um. Um. I don't know. <laughs> but it also happened on New Year's Eve last year while I was streaming. Um. And that one I knew about while I was live for sure. That really scared me. That was horrible because I was live and you can't, the thing is you can't react because you don't want them, like they're doing it on purpose because they want you to react. Like they're doing it while you're streaming because they want to watch, like obviously if they come to the door when I'm not live, they can't see my face, you know? But when I'm streaming, they can see me and they will know that they're scaring me or, or whatever. Um, so they do it when you're live on purpose because they're trying to get a reaction. So you can't react because you don't want to confirm it. You know, you don't want to like, um, but it's, it's obviously malicious. Like they're doing it while you're live on purpose because they want the reaction out of you. Um, and so it was a different person that time. This <laughs> happened more than once. Um, but anyway, um, that one was scary too. <laughs> so, and then I streamed for like hours afterward. Ooh. Um, anyway, <laughs> it's horrible. Don't recommend doing that to anyone. I don't know what you're thinking, but anyway. Um, is the dog bowl, did it not fill itself? Let me give it some more. Um, let me give him a treat. Let me give him a treat. But yeah, I think that bigger YouTubers have that happen to them a lot, which is really scary. Um, I don't know why people think it's okay, but... Um... Anyway. Fascinating. <laughs> Leah, Megan, Superb, Emily, Astro Historic, thank you all for the steps again. Um... Anyway. Anyway. Move to Golden Oak? Oh my god. I'll pay like $20,000 a year at HOA fees so I can have a manned gate. And also live in a Disney neighborhood. <laughs> Oh my god. I honestly, I cannot think of anything worse than living in Golden Oak. I I know that some people like dream about that. Not me. Not me. Golden Oak is a mansion of a, a neighborhood of mansions on Disney property. Um There there's like varying prices. I I would say they they realm from a cheap 1 million to a 10 million. <laughs> um there's levels to this, but, um, yeah, I don't think I can see, see myself living in there. Starting at about four gajillion dollars, yeah. <laughs> yes, nice, cheap, affordable housing, mm -hmm. There's one for 24 million in there, are you serious? Wow. A nice budget home. The thing that I worry about in a neighborhood like that is that I feel like the neighbors would suck. Like, you know, you hear these horror stories about HOAs and the neighbors being like so controlling and nitpicky and like me, 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 me about everything. I just, you just know that the people there, not all, but the majority probably suck. Like they're, they're probably really mean and, and snooty. <laughs> like I bet the HOA, cause you pay so much in HOA dues. I bet they're like, you can't have green Christmas lights, only red ones. Like, they're probably so nitpicky and like, you can only have them out past December 1st and they have to be down on January 2nd. And like, you can just tell that they're probably so... I just bet there's loads of rules in the HOA. You know what I mean? I really feel like that's how it happens. I can just see that happening in a lot of those kind of neighborhoods and I feel like that's one of the ones that's like that. Um, anyway. You think it's a mean stereotype? It might be a mean stereotype. I'm not necessarily stereotyping Disney. I'm stereotyping like a rich neighborhood. With, think about this though. It's a neighborhood of very expensive, expensive mansions with like a manned gate at the front and like they pay a lot of money just to live there. Like they pay the neighborhood monthly to live there on top of their like actual mortgage and stuff. So I, I can imagine that it's 
very strict. Um, like, more so than a regular HOA would be. I don't know. I don't live there, but... <laughs> Because you get HOAs that are like that in, like, other neighborhoods, but some HOAs are not as bad. It just depends. Um, HOA is a homeowners association. It's like a, as Night Salon said, a mandatory neighborhood group that tells you what to do with your house. <laughs> yeah. So in a place like Golden Oak, um, you would, the neighborhood is an HOA, and you would pay monthly fees, and it would pay for things like um, the guard, the gate, um, the landscaping of the neighborhood, uh, if there's, like, a pool, or, like, maybe the neighborhood has tennis courts, you'd have access to those, and the upkeep of those pay for with your HOA dues, um, things like that, um, and they also have, like, lots of rules about, like, oh, you can't paint your house, like, X, Y, Z, and Z colors, you have to get your house paint color approved by us, if you want to put a fence in, we have to approve it, like, because they want the neighborhood to look a certain way, so they'll be very, like, um, yes, their HOA dues are $25,000. I wasn't kidding about how much it costs. It's ridiculous. It is very expensive to live there. <laughs> or, like, yeah, like, fine for parking in the street. Or, like, if you didn't bring in your garbage cans by 5 p.m. on the day that the garbage got picked up, like, you, they're gonna send you a mean letter. Um, I don't know. It's, not all of them are like that, but... That's kind of the, the stereotype that and the, the reputation they get. Because a lot of them are like that. And it kind of depends on who's running it as well. Like, um, sometimes people running it are worse than others, you know. Whatever. Um, but, anyway. It's very bizarre. <laughs> and the thing is, like, Florida has a lot of HOA. I'll get off stream in a second, by the way. But Florida has a lot of HOAs because, you know how um, a lot of other places are built like on a grid and there's like streets with grids and houses on the grids and stuff like that. A lot of times maybe a street would decide to become an HOA, um, but it's not as common up there in places like that. I'm thinking about like Chicago and stuff, um, like my grandparents' neighborhood. But here, a lot of the neighborhoods in Florida were built as like small developments by developers. And so they bought like a big chunk of land and then built like 30 houses on it all at once and then formed an HOA. So all the houses were built at the same time, all became an HOA, and it's just like, that's like dotted everywhere around Florida. So you see a lot of HOAs in Florida because of that. Um, but anyway, we talk, we talk about this way too much. We get into HOA talk way too often on stream. I don't know why. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's very common around here. It's hard, it, I, it, it would be hard, I think, to find a house that's not in one in Florida. Um, they're around a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go find someone to raid, I think. I hope that you enjoyed the stream tonight. Um, have a good night, everybody. I'm gonna go make some pasta. <laughs> um, and I think, I think, I think I might go raid a friend. You know, my friend Maggie is partner pushing and villager hunting and animal crossing. I think this might be where we need to go. Maggie has seen Pietro twice in this hunt, by the way. Just if you want to cry a little bit. Um. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> but anyway, have a wonderful night, everybody. I will see you all tomorrow. Um, we're gonna play Animal Crossing tomorrow. It should be fun. Um, hello, Chibi. Bye, Chibi. Sam, thank you for the four months. Bentley, uh, Misa, and Minnie, and Harper, and Juliet, and McKenna, and Leah, and Megan. Superb. Thank you all for the subs, too. Um, well, let's go say hi, shall we? Um, and look at who she's hunting for. Puddles. I know. Anyway, sorry. Go say hi in the chat. All those good things. I'll catch you tomorrow. If you want this schedule, because streams are going to be weird this week because of my cousin's wedding. My cousin's wedding is on Thursday, so, like, the streams are odd this week. I can't stream much this week because of it. Um, the schedule's in the Discord. It always is. Um, my Discord is discord.gg forward slash lilsimsy. You can get it from the chat. If you miss it, it's in my panels. You can get it after I'm live. It's still there, so... Um, anyway, so you just got here. I'm sorry, Dino, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but anyway, I'll see you all, uh, tomorrow. Yes? I love you. I miss you. Okay, anyway. Goodbye! <laughs>